All right, so. I've done the farming. I don't need to spend resin. Um, I don't have to do dailies. How about we keep going with the Archon quest? See if my volume is up correctly. It is. All right, is the audio fine for everyone? We all good? Did I have it at this volume or, or some other volume? Wait, hold on, let me see. Let me check real quick. Josh. Do not. Drink water. Spoilers have never been too bad for you, as most times it's about the journey. Hmm. True. Are you not a content creator, though? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I... Did I do, like... Did I ever change my volume yesterday? I don't remember. God, the music in this game is so good! Fucking love the music in this game, man. I love it! Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just keep it on four. Screw it. Just keep it on four. Okay. Make sure I have the correct mic set up. <laughs> I think it's I think it's correct. Let me let me just listen to myself. You're gonna hear an echo real quick. Listen to myself. You're gonna hear an echo real quick. Listen to myself. You're gonna hear an echo real quick. I think it's fine. I think I think that's pretty much my mic. Okay, let's keep going then. I came here several times with my father when I was little. Oh yeah, um... I stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. This is Act 2? Yeah, this is Act 2. Okay, in case you didn't know, from where we left off, basically, um... We just solved Lenny's... Lenny's, uh, trial. My man is absolved of all crimes, my boy is innocent, but we hate him now. The Traveler fucking hates him now, because... The Traveler hates him now because Lenny didn't tell him that he was a part of the Fatui. And there's nothing we could do to make the Traveler... There was nothing they could do to make the Traveler, like, not hate them. Or dislike them. He doesn't fully trust them? Yeah, he doesn't trust them, really. So, trust is broken within the Traveler and Lenny and Lynette. And... And then Navia came up to us and was like, Hey, uh, you want to go out? Like, do you want to help out the case now? With solving, like, all the mysterious disappearances of the, uh, of the little girls? And he was like, uh, no. <laughs> no. I'm on my way out of here. But Navia was like, okay, well, that's cool. How about you just, um, how about we go out for dinner then? And now we're here. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already! Oh, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Ooh, everything looks so good! People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life! 
Why, of course. Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? Well, uh, <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. <laughs> okay. She's Geo? Yes, yeah, she is Geo. She has a... You can see her Geo vision here. Yeah, I think her character design is very obviously Geo. Like, they could not make it more obvious <laughs> that she's a Geo character. It's kind of crazy. You uh, sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. Um, it's certainly worth celebrating. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. Huh? Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> I keep forgetting that she's rich as Speaking well. Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well... We've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. Yeah, because what's the point of dissolving young women into water? <laughs> what, what's the point? I mean, I mean, there, I don't think there really is a point for people to just be murdering people. Some people just do it just because, but I, like there has to be some sort of goal, right? If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. Like, if there's an organization behind this, then it's kind of... It's, it's, there's something deeper going on. You have no idea what's going on. You'll just play when you're unemployed again. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability, it's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. Mm. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough, which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist, to seep into the cracks where filth falls through, where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. So you're kind of like vigilantes or like a private investigation group to like, <laughs> to fix the mistakes of the higher ups and the actual police. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> it's all right. Well, this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? We wanted to ask the Hydro Archon for some information, but we haven't had much opportunity to do so. Do you think she's gonna give us any information after we just basically embarrassed her ass in front of, like, the entirety of the court? Of <laughs> whoever was inside that court? I'm sure it's also, like, national news that she lost as well. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Hmm. I see. So, your primary objective which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. Yeah. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Well, uh, she came to us first, the, like the second we got here, so I'm sure it won't take very long for her to just come running back and try to, try to get her revenge to embarrass us. <laughs> She's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? Uh, <laughs> okay. What are you saying, Navia? 
What are, what are you saying, Navia? Guess that's Spina di Rosula's bus for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play. Don't you think? Mm. Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. <sighs> All right. Here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. What? Then wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. What? Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers <laughs> all your questions. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. This is a little bit. <laughs> uh, we just jumped. We just went from like zero to a hundred. I can personally testify that this one works. When what? I'm sleepy. I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Wait, you're saying that you, you're saying that this has happened to you before, or that you you've done this before? What? Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Yeah. Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. <laughs> what? Um, how could you overlook something like that? <laughs> all right, all right, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could. Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. Yep. You mean that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. Yeah, that's ex that's exactly what they were, what she was saying, Paimon. Um, would someone with her personality really feel? Sh yeah, she she obviously felt shame. It's worth a try. Also, why has nobody been eating this cake? On the on the table. This shit looks good as fuck. I want a bite of that so bad. Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Uh, was this your drink? What's Fanta? <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like to order another? No, it's fine. We're just about done here. All right. Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. Salty and icky? What? What kind of drink is this? The hell? Fanta Tavat Edition? <laughs> I don't think so. Fanta doesn't taste salty. Is that so? Huh. Well... In that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here, then. What? If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. Fanta is sweet. It's just seawater? Ew. Oh, so full. Paimon can barely float anymore. You could try walking, you know. Normal. You know, like you. <laughs> hmm. Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with... Hey, Navia! What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> Wait, are we sure that... Wait, actually, is she not rich? Is she actually not rich? It's a pretty pricey meal, all thanks to Paimon. Hello, Solar. <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. Bye-bye, Navia. See
I like the jazz. You like jazz? Can I put her back on screen? <laughs> no. No. How the hell am I gonna get all the way over there? I don't have any waypoints. Actually, I do have a waypoint. Never mind. Actually, wait, hold on. Can I take the, um... Let me go down here. Can I take the water bus again? Or the aqua bus? Where's the aqua bus at? I forgot where the aqua bus is at. Take the seven, this one, this? Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, elevator? Uh, what line is this? Uh, I'm gonna just go all the way to the top. I'm gonna upload this to the YouTube, or am I gonna wait to finish the whole Fontaine quest? I'm going to. I'm I'm gonna upload. It to YouTube. I'm not gonna wait for all the Fontaine quests to come up before I upload them. That would take forever. And by that time, uh, the hype would be gone, but... I'm gonna try to uh, edit the quest as fast as I can. Aha, there we go. Oh, I love jazz music. I love jazz music. Was that a furry? What? Where? Oh, this? No. It's fine weather. What are you doing? Patrolling and enjoying the weather as I do. With a rain or a sign, it's a good day for a millicene. She's a race of she is a she's a race called Melusines. They're kind of young. They're kind of a young race, like 400. They were like discovered 400 years ago. And there's also dogs. Look at the puppy. Good puppy. Hmm. So where's the aqua bus at? Let me see. Ah, it's over here actually. You need to catch up? Yeah, you might have to catch up a little bit on this. This aqua bus is not taking off. When's the aqua bus? Is there no aqua bus here? No, it's the wrong one. Wait, let me go back. The nighttime Fontaine scenery looks magical. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, it actually feels like a city. Like a modern city. It's really nice. <gasps> Aha, here it is. <gasps> Let's go. I 
I am your tour guide for this trip, Alfan. We are now heading to Erinias. Many people are tried there, and sent to the fortress of Meripede. But passengers needn't worry. Life in the fortress of Meripede may be a good thing for certain groups of people. The construction of Clockwork Mecca has no restrictions outside of patent law. Other than the Fontaine Research Institute, many private workshops are engaged in researching and building all kinds of Clockwork Mecca. Clockwork Some Mecca? Some people will modify existing models, and other criminals will use Clockwork Mecca for theft, robbery, surveillance, and illegal exploration, <laughs> among other activities. Look at the birds! If you encounter Wait. such a situation, Please report it to the nearest Mari Jose personnel immediately. So can I not swim? Oh no, I could swim. I just haven't done it yet. I'm sure if I jump into that water, I could probably dive under the water. I just haven't done it yet. Saving that for we later. We are now arriving at Marcot Station, where this journey ends. Any passengers interested in taking a commemorative photo of their Aquabus journey are advised to do so at the Court of Fontaine Station on the Clementine Line. This is because the atmosphere there is much livelier. Plus, my diligent colleague Aval keeps her boat in a much cleaner, photo-ready condition. <laughs> and also, my Melazine hands struggle with holding cameras. No. <laughs> I feel bad for her every time. <laughs> her hands don't allow her to do anything, dude. Aww. She can't pick up pens. She can't use a camera. I feel bad. I haven't played Genshin in a solid year or two, but this game is so cool. You can watch and nod along, like you know what the fuck is going on and enjoy it nonetheless. That's the beauty of this game. It's not that complicated. <gasps> poppy! Look at you, Poppy! It looks like a golden retriever. He's so cute! You go, Poppy. Except the whole animal race thing, where do they come from? Um, the Melusines, they're like a- they're like a relatively new, uh, race. They were only just introduced in, in this region, in Fontaine. So, we don't know much about them yet, but... They're apparently very, very, uh, like, recently discovered, I guess. I don't know where the hell they came from, but... <laughs> Have you seen the baguette dog yet? I think so. There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneas might have been the last one. Mache. Oh, there's the voice again. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Yeah, and it's clearer than it was during the day. Spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? No, I'm gonna go investigate it. Vache? Vache? Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might be something nasty in the water. I can feel strong. I can feel strong emotions. Huh? Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. Oh, she can hear it too. I'm calling for Vache, right? Huh. Hey, traveler, stop walking. Come on, wake up. Did I just get, did I just get, did I just get captured by a mermaid? There's probably a mermaid in this water. 
Oh! It's an ocean in! Hi. Vache, are you my dear Vache? No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where my love is? I'm afraid not. Who are you? I'm... Wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry. I fear I do not know. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide. Never to be recovered. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land? Have I since forgotten? She was... She was once a human? So wait... Wait, are humans turning into oceanids? Yes, that is what I was once. But now... I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. You lost your form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water. And then all grew dim. No way. Wait, that solution turns people into oceanids? Wait, wait, so... Huh. The dissolving, yeah. So the, pe so the girls getting dissolved are literally just turning into oceanids. Huh. I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure, loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me. And I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. So, you want me to find him? No. Our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no succor. So let Dang. Him lie forgotten beneath the waters. Dang. Man's moved on. No. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. I believe it'll be hard for him to forget you. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness. I saw Vache above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed, I had felt a great warmth. So Vache was a witness. Is that what you call it? Dissolving? If anything, I consider it a form of release. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. Damn, so she kind of... Is that like a... Like another way of saying she died? <laughs> that, was, that was literally her feeling the release of death. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time. And only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. So, it seems after the body is dissolved, some measures of the consciousness still remain. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Oh, Paimon. Farewell, then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache, Tell him not to seek me out any longer. Dang. So she was one of the victims of the dissolvings. That's sad. What the fuck? Yo! What? What's going on? Yo, it's war. <laughs> war. I just woke up to war. What the hell going on? Dear God, 
It's a whole army of Gardamax. I just woke up to the robot revolution. What the fuck is going on? Ooh. Chlorine, here she comes. Quick, now's our chance. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, she's fast. Okay, okay. Okay. Sick. Now that's a duo. Okay, okay, that was cool. I should thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I... followed you. What? <laughs> it seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. <laughs> Wait, she, she used out here following her? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? Mr. Callus' last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same were he alive today. Oh, so th oh, that's how it is? Do not speak of my father. Sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Clorand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you, but I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamax? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. Ah, so they're built? So that's what they were... That's what, um... That's what, uh, the, the Melusine, that's what the girl on the, on the water bus was talking about, the aqua bus. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means, deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league then? Yes. Be careful, and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Well... <laughs> okay, well, she's... She is, um, I guess she's kind of a bodyguard working, working on, like, the orders of, uh, working on the orders of, like, Navia's father's last wish. Hmm. Kind of. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. I know, I just... She's... <laughs> Is the Traveler okay? What just happened? Oh, thank goodness! Paimon thought we were done for! <laughs> I really just woke up to an all-out war. Champion duelist named Clorand who came out to save us too. We got lucky there. Paimon probably.
probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Oh, so now you're a fighter, Paimon? Mm-hmm. Also, did you see, um... Okay, so apparently... Chlorin doesn't only use a gun, so it, it's she's probably gonna be a sword user, and maybe her ult will be a gun, or maybe her skill could be a gun, but she's definitely gonna be a sword user. Oh, <laughs> come now, forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there, not for me anyway. In truth. I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. <laughs> if it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time! Now, were you following us? Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. What? Ow. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed to that? Ooh, Paimon's even more amazing than she thought! Yes, all thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. What? Huh? Wait, what do you mean by that? Uh, how did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky. Uh, do you mean that I thought it tasted strange as well, but I couldn't be sure. Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. Mm-hmm. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the Primordial Sea? Oh, what? Wait, someone spiked our drinks. What the fuck? Yes. So if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Oh my god, we saved Navia. What the hell? Paimon unintentionally did something. Good job, Paimon. Here's a star. You deserve it. Just this once. Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. Huh? Really? <laughs> First and only Paimon W. Drink water. Why is Paimon fine but the Traveler's passed out? I'm not sure why the, uh, the Traveler passed out. Um... I don't know. Fortunately, neither of us are from Fontaine. Otherwise, we would have been uh, dissolved. I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. But why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name. Oh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? Yep. Well... You did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Well, it can't be a coincidence that the Traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh uh, yeah, about that, uh... <laughs> oh, and this time Paimon heard it too! But it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? According to Lynette, the ability to hear voices like that has to do with one's sensitivity to the Hydra element. Oh yeah, that is true. Since the Traveler is super sensitive to like all the elements. We already, we already learned that uh, he was super sensitive to the elements when he like passed out in like fucking um, in Sumeru, right? And then... Yeah. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. I also gained some new intel. Every big streamer so far has gone mad at you for talking about 4.1 banners. Are you going to ban you? No, I'm not going to ban you, but you got to... Um, if it's leaks... Uh, well, 4.1 is leaks. I mean, I know what you're talking about, but... Just keep it to yourself, because I don't want to get... In, I mean, I don't want to get in trouble just yet. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble yet for talking about leaks. So. 
I know what you're talking. I know. I know what you're talking about, though. New intel? While you were out cold? Ah, uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? The voice of the f the voice in the fountain belonged to one of the missing women, a person named Vasher, who was a witness when she dissolved. Oh, that is important. Vache, that name doesn't ring a bell. Vache. I suppose Vache. he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been threatened? We should try searching for him. Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Um, by we, you mean us too, right? Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? <laughs> Unwillingly. <laughs> well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Messing with us will cost them. Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. Uh, you are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> she really didn't want us to go, huh? <clears throat> you talk too much. <sighs> well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. But we'll take that one step at a time, I guess. Don't worry, you two. With us around, our base is definitely secure. <clears throat> is Genshin worth picking up in 2023? Um, if you haven't played for a while, like, say for a couple months, maybe. Um, or maybe even a year plus. I would say it's good. Yeah. I would say it's worth picking up. What the hell is this? Fountain of Lucene. Cool. Nice view. You can throw hydro sigils you obtain across Fontaine into the Fountain of Lucene outside the Opera Epicalis to raise its level and obtain valuable... Oh, it's like the tree. Oh, boy. How many levels are there? It's probably 50, right? Yeah, it's just 50. It's very 50 again. I still haven't finished the Sumeru tree yet. Damn it. <laughs> Now I got another one to do. The bodyguard's voice was so funny. He's got a nice voice. As a French as a French speaker, every time you hear "vache," "vache," because it's one letter away from the word "cow," and it's it sounds really close to "va vachir," which basically means "go shit." <laughs> go shit. What the hell? Uh, let's go to the bus. I'm gonna walk. I'm liking the music and the atmosphere. So I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna be hop there. She's just like me. Look at that. She's doing. She's doing it just like me. <sighs> what the hell? Wait, what? What? Um, Gracie? <laughs> what the? F I don't know what was going on there, but...
You just gotta jump over the kids. New birds. I still don't know if these are oranges. Are these oranges? Why do they look like oranges? Where are they at? These have to be oranges, dude. Cause like, or, or even tangerines. Cause like, what the hell? They look so similar to tangerines and oranges. <laughs> With an aqua bus. Suspended? Man, how am I gonna get back then? You know what? Fine. I'll I'll teleport. Am I enjoying Fontaine? It is very nice. Unlimited Mora or Unlimited Time? Um... What do you think is- what do you guys think is better? Unlimited money or unlimited time? Personally, I think unlimited time is better. But then again, unlimited money could help solve a lot of problems in this world. You can just make all that money in that time? True. Or it's higher? Oh no, it's over there. Can we get much higher? So high. Is Traveler overpowered? Not at all. Water jet. I think uh, Hydro Traveler might actually be the weakest. I haven't built him yet, but based off of the skills alone, it doesn't really seem like he's gonna be that great because he scales off of i think hp and his ults the burst is literally just a a, a moving like hydro bubble like think age to age to hydro bubble that's basically his ult it's right up ahead but let's make sure we weren't followed first i've been keeping watch to moselle i haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far very good, but let's not let our guard down for now. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, let's continue, Traveler. I can only play Fontaine or Sumeru. The other one gets removed. What do I choose? Um, uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. That's kind of tough because not all of Fontaine is out just yet. But I think I think I like the vibe more in in Fontaine. I like the music and the scenery the most. sumeru has got a nice vibe too. But I kind of like um I'm really liking Fontaine so far. But that might just be the I might just be the honeymoon phase talking. No disrespect to Sumeru. No disrespects. This rat ass level. <sighs> We're gonna be finding some rats down here. What the hell? It was good. You gotta disagree because of Nahida and Dihia? That, that, that too. It would be, it would suck not having D here. Or Sino. 
I don't know. Maybe we'll find a character that um, that's also fun here in this nation. Believe you could somehow make the Hydro Traveler overpowered by doing what? Stacking HP? Actually. Do you need a lock picked or perhaps switched? Um, you, you do this business by night? Of course, don't people usually realize that they've forgotten to bring their keys only upon returning at home returning home at night? Ah, uh, wait, I get it. You're wondering if I'm doing something terrible here, are you? Don't worry, don't worry. I have principles and sense. And more importantly, I don't want to perform a trial standing show at the opera house. Good man. Sketchy ass business? I mean, there's I mean lock pick block picking is a business. That reminds me there is a whole YouTube channel called the Lock Picking Lawyer. Of a dude who literally just reviews locks. And picks this them. Is your base? It's not quite what Paimon imagined. Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Mm, thank you. <laughs> well, our funds have been a little tight lately. Ah, so they're poor. I see. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Ah, I see. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father... He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Uh, no. I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. Okay, is, uh... My father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Damn. Oh no. Wait, is that why Clorin knows? Oh. Wait, did Clorin kill him? But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender. Oh, damn. Determ oh, I skipped it. Three I'm sorry. Years later, I still don't understand why he did that. Sorry, I skipped that. So he de so he so he committed suicide by fucking he committed suicide by duel. Uh. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. It does seem quite odd. The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in. But I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. Dang, so this nation has a problem of just setting people up 
for like being framed and being convicted of like murders and shit. Huh. Well, thank God we saw. Thank God we saved Lenny. But that's probably why we're being targeted now because we followed their plans. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. Damn. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Seeking the truth for the sake of your family. You know, we're like, we're quite, you know, we're quite alike in this regard. Demoiselle, please, if there is anything I can do, anything at all. I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, Demoiselle. Master Callus did so much good in life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident, hence our uh, strained finances at present. Ah, I see. Wait, if Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? Hmm, let me think. Who took on his case? Uh, no. Perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just as much. Damn, she calling out a whole lot. <laughs> she just... Wow, the writer's uh, calling out a whole lot of people right now. But how could... Ugh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. Uh, there is one other thing. Master Callus's opponent in the duel was Ms. Cloran. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> so that's why. Yeah, that, that was a little... That was a little obvious. Bye bye, ADK hamster. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's why. Isn't that as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? No wonder the mood was a little strange between the two of you. Yeah, that's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. Miss Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but... Seeing how he was resolute in the arena, there was only ever one choice she could have made. Dang, so she just she just went no mercy on him? Ooh. Well, I mean eh. It's kinda of messed up, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda of messed up. It's not that I don't understand her at all. But I I just can't deal with this yet. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Ms. Cloran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. Hmm. So he intended to die in that So he literally committed suicide from a duel. But why? Maybe, maybe him committing suicide from the duel was a means of getting out of whatever situation he was in. Hmm. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right, anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. Nah, it's all right, you good. Thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. Yeah! Paimon's feet. Please, relax and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Maybe it was for atonement? Hmm. 
Whether it be responsibility for Spina di Rosula or Master Callus's death, it all landed on Demoiselle's shoulders so suddenly. This won't do. I must become stronger. Giga Chad Silver over here. Kind of a vibe out here. Kind of reminds me of the underworld from Star Rail. So Corinne is older than Navia. What's your skincare routine? <laughs> to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. But never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Wait, so you didn't sleep at all? Dang, she up. <laughs> Please sleep. How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? Nah, you can't work on no sleep. Go go to bed. Go to bed. Uh, guess Paima wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? Uh, unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. She running on no sleep and she has no bags under her eyes. Nah, what is the skincare routine actually? <laughs> what, what is her skincare routine? Because ain't no way. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But that does prove that this Vache person is a key witness in the incident. Does that mean we're too late though? No. There is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten. No matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Nouvellet, a place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met is one of the young women who went missing recently, we should be able to find some related information there. So Nouvellet maintains an archive of case files? Whew, guess that's the hardworking Chief Justice for you. So I guess we're gonna have to go to convince we're gonna have to convince his ass to let us in, just so casually. Oh, this is gonna be tough. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as simple as that. Hmm? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as simple as that. smooth skin having smooth and bright skin with no sleep your overnight breakout could never <clears throat> know what you need some water <sighs> some water dang I gotta climb up so high you know what I'm just teleport. I bet that person was another part of the. Right up ahead. Come on. Is another part of the Honkai Star World videos? Um, I'm going to like try alternating between the uh the Fontaine quest and the Star Road videos, cause um, I definitely am taking a little while to edit the font the Star Road videos, but I'm gonna try my best to uh, get them out. 
Especially with Fontaine being here and having to do both at once. Halt! Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. Huh. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. <laughs> Damn, she said who? <laughs> what the hell? See, they've got great discipline too. Yep, yep. I one can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Uh, no, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. It's all coming back to me now. Yep, that's us. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh, is that even a thing? <laughs> hmm, of course. Don't worry, we're here on official business. You can trust us. All right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Aww, <laughs> they're so cute. Ah, thanks so much. They're all so <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh. Hello. <laughs> She's so tiny. <laughs> Aww. It's like Chi Chi at the front desk. Please come in. She can't even see over the desk, for real. Um, sorry to barge in, Monsieur Nervalet. We only lied to get in because we didn't know any other way. It's all right. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Uh, so you're not mad at us? No, he he's, I think he's the complete opposite of uh, Furina. We are looking for a man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, oh, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. Wow, so cooperative. He's gonna give it up like that? Cool. This will be easier than, we, than I thought, actually. Who knew that Nervalette would be so easy to talk to? What? What's happening? Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. Mm. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. So we're back to square one. So this dude just kind of doesn't have a record. Damn! Ah, freaking good, good, upstanding citizens, man. But then again, he didn't, that means he didn't even show up to court at all, either. Despite witnessing her literally dissolving into water. Traveler, what if it was really just a dream? <laughs> you gaslighting me now? Is that so? All right, then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Neuvillette. We'll take our leave now. Ahem. Miss Navia. I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We deeply regret his passing. Hmm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillette? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. 
I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. Damn. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. Shit. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Did she cook at him? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. If she's kind of cooking his ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Shit! <laughs> my goodness. Oh my lord. I did not expect that. Deserved though. If what what if what she said was true, deserved. Navia, are you okay? I'm fine. <sighs> Rain. It's raining. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. How strange. Huh. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. Hmm. The rain. What is it? Did you think of something? Your father's case, was he outside when it happened? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. But there was something you didn't know at the time. Oh? Wait. Uh, you don't mean... The fact that people can be turned into water. So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? That's... That's me... <laughs> if that actually is true... Nah... Then there's no hope to solving that. No way. That's a terrible outcome. I don't even want to believe that. Because that's, that's like the worst outcome ever. No justice. Not even finding out who that person is. That dude just disappeared. Out of thin air. Probably already evaporated into the goddamn winds and the clouds. Yeah, and if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> You're completely right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? All right, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. For sure this time! Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? Uh... We should go while the idea is still fresh. Great. Let's go then. No helping him out of that one? Yeah, uh... Yeah, if my... If the actual murder... Murderer literally just disappears... Into water... And there's nothing I can do about it, honestly. What what would you even do there? What do you do? 
And everyone hates you for thinking that you're the murderer? And you're probably gonna go to jail because there's not- there's literally nothing you could do. There's nothing- there's nothing you could do to prove that you're not the murderer. Yeah, now I'm starting to think maybe, um... You know what? Let me not say anything. <laughs> There's no need to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. Ooh. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. I think I'm starting to get why you like it. And Paimon thought you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. Paimon was confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. <laughs> but now that Paimon has seen this ship for herself, she's been convinced. <laughs> she was like, I, I used to think y'all were sewer dwellers. Huh. Guess I thought wrong. Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's our main base. Our home. Look at the birds. Why do they look like Pokemons? Wait. No, it flew away. No. Dang. But you all saw what I was talking about, right? It kind of looks like a Pokemon. Someone getting away with crime just by becoming water and blending in with the rain? Well, I mean, they didn't really get away with it. it just, they, they are, they're also dead, but... Whoopee! Hi! Oh, it's so cute! A wingle? A haunch crow? Yeah, they kind of look like some Pokemon. I can't put, put it on the tip of my tongue, though. Don't know if it would be a wingle. I don't know what a haunch crow is, either. Malus, we're back! Hi. Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle, and our most important partners. You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Poisson so quickly? Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Wait. It's, it was the same setting as Linny's? Wait, was it raining? Was it raining when, uh... Was it raining during the day that the show was happening? I don't remember. Huh. Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Yeah, of course. Many years ago, something called synth began to gain popularity in Poisson. At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. <laughs> so you mean a drug? You could, you could, you could say the word Hoyoverse. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water also mention that the primordial water could be used to produce some kind of potion? Yes, he did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that Synth is created using water from the primordial sea. So... If, we're, if I'm if I'm getting this right, there is a drug in circulation in Tebat that is basically just a diluted version of like of like a, a dissolving 
device or solution is basically just a diluted version of dissolving water. <laughs> huh. Now, what if that information got out to, like, the wrong person and they just decided to, like, buy up all the stock of, of that specific drug and then, like, found out a way to maybe make it more potent? Hmm. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects, such as losing the ability to focus or control your emotions. And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. As he oversaw Poissant, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath, but no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Damn, he he called the he called on the, on the war on drugs in Tevat. Not only that, Boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once and for all. Huh. Yes, but the enemy was very cunning. <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers. All of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships with them. Finally, he was able to convince someone to become his informant. The man's name was Jacques. He Jacques. was greatly ashamed about his work after seeing many families destroyed by synth abuse. That night, my father hosted a banquet at his countryside estate. He planned to meet up and exchange information with Jacques over some food. But then, we heard two gunshots from the courtyard. They killed him? We raced to the scene and found my father, still holding a gun. And Jacques, who was already dead on the ground. Damn. Huh? How did that happen? Aren't they on the same side? Sounds just like Lenny's case, doesn't it? In both cases, the culprit seemed obvious, but neither appeared to have any motive at all. Looking back on it, though, I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. So, okay. Yeah, this is way too similar to Lenny's case then. Huh. So, they could have belonged to the someone who got dissolved. Hmm. Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll also need to reconsider why the two shots were fired. Hmm. Maybe your father got into an argument with Jacques, but it's also possible that the third person was to blame. Probably the third person. You're right. We still don't know what happened. But my intuition tells me that we're on the right track to figuring it all out. <sighs> I'm finally headed towards the truth. Jacques was an empathetic man who was infinitely remorseful for his past actions. It's unlikely that he turned on boss with zero warning. Yeah, because that's ridiculous. There's no way. I think this third person is probably the key to the full truth. On that note, however, even though this will not please you, demoiselle, as you're and your father's butler, I must still offer a word of warning. Our opponent is insidious and cruel. They are extremely difficult to deal with, and Boss has already lost his life trying to bring them to justice. Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson has welcomed a new time of peace, and we have been allowed to live out our lives. Mm, true. There is no need to follow your father's plan. It would be both wise and in line with Boss's wishes to step back and give up on the case. If that's indeed what he wished for, then he should have told me that himself. Was I not the closest person to him? And yet, I was the one most kept in the dark. What was the point of him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? Did he manage to protect anything in the end? Synth is still here. Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. 
and Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Nothing has changed. Did he think I'd just accept his meaningless death and live out my life just as meaninglessly? I've never accepted that, ever. Not since that day, and certainly not now. Mm. I want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. For the missing girls, for the victims, and for myself. You go, Navia. Navia. You go, Navia. This is indeed the best moment to act. Your partner appears to be quite reliable, and more importantly, Demoiselle, I think you're also ready to take this on. So you do know something else, Malus. Yes, I do. In fact, even before that banquet, Boss already knew of the connection between Synth and the serial disappearances case. But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle, had been selected as the next target to disappear. Uh... What? <sighs> Boss also didn't tell you that he had been diagnosed with a rare illness. The doctors told him that he had no more than five years left to live. What? No. And the serial disappearances case caused him great anxiety. Five years was nowhere near enough time to resolve this long-standing conflict. But once he passed away, all the danger would pass on to you. Knowing all of this, he decided to use one final intimidation tactic before his death. He claimed to have already gotten his hands on some key incriminating evidence for the other side, and even told some members of Spina di Rosula about the details. But as long as you remain safe, he would not share the evidence with the public. Wait, so there's still people out here who know the details, right? If something were to happen to you, then he and all those he told would immediately expose all they knew about Synth and the disappeared victims. Right, so nobody would be able to get off scot-free. As we've seen, Boss's tactic has worked. Even though Boss has been gone for a long time, the other side has not tried to take Demoiselle's life. Hmm. So basically, her being alive is kind of... Hmm. No, I don't believe it. He never appeared to look sick to me. No father wants their daughter to see them weak and haggard, especially someone as proud as Boss. To him, dying in a duel and suffering lasting dishonor as the unfaithful are still far preferable than losing face in front of his daughter. Is it? No, I have no right to speak on that, actually. No, let me just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so he chose to die in silence so that he could protect me. I'm afraid you're not understanding this correctly, demoiselle. What boss wanted to hand to you was not a parasol, but a sword. If boss's spirit could hear you telling me that you want to find the answer for the sake of everyone involved, I'm sure he'd be extremely proud. Uh, that fool. <laughs> Couldn't he have just given it to me straight? No. He might have set up everything precisely because he never thought I'd be able to understand him. Is that the amount of confidence he had in me? And what if I was never able to make it to where I am now? Damn. He gave you the choice to live how you want. Yeah. I suppose that's true. With the way he'd set things up, if I had wanted, I could have just lived out my life without a care in the world. But thankfully, he rarely talked to me about complex matters, and thus understood little of me as a person. In this case, he really didn't need to give me an easy way out. <laughs> Malus, what was the key evidence that he shared with you? It's the location where Synth is produced. Essentially, it's the enemy's headquarters. Oh my god, really? When he was threatening the enemy, Boss didn't share the specifics of the incriminating evidence he found. But if you want to use it against the enemy, you'll still have to take several things into consideration. Oh god. Why? If we know where the place is, can't we just go storming in? No, Paimon. 
You mustn't forget that we're fighting against a mysterious and dangerous organization that's been in operation for decades. Yeah, uh, I don't think uh, these dudes are just like some regular ass treasure hoarders that have somehow gotten their hands on a very dangerous drug. These dudes are probably um very serious about what they're doing. There's no telling what might be lying in wait at their headquarters. We also have no idea what kind of evidence we may be able to find inside, nor what people we may be able to capture. But a single visit to their headquarters would be tantamount to a formal declaration of war. The worst case would be that we leave empty-handed, but also open ourselves up to full retaliation. Yeah. Then, in that case, why not work with the Fontaine authorities? Well, you saw one of them dissolve during Mr. Linney's case. <laughs> we have no idea just how thoroughly they may have been infiltrated. Yeah, trust no one right now. These motherfuckers are everywhere, and I don't think um, I, I don't think I want to see somebody get dissolved again. Huh. That's true. Seems my father really had no choice. But things are different now. It should be a lot easier to prove the other side's guilt, now that we've connected Synth with the disappearances case. You sound like you've put a lot of thought into this, Malus. I am the butler, after all. I live but to serve the boss and Demoiselle's will. Malus. I've always been Maybe willing to take on any kind of risk for your sake. But considering my relative lack of ability, I've spent my time keeping secrets, performing basic investigations, and... Waiting for the right time to come. Thank you for all of that, Malus. Have you discovered anything new in the past few years? Let me think. One conclusion I came to is that the enemy must be quite familiar with Spina di Rosula, or at least have an informant planted here. Okay, but if Malus knows all this information, what if some? What if they find out that he's just that he's telling people about this now? Is Malou's gonna die? Is this a is this a death flag for him? When I announced orders to the organization's members on Demoiselle's behalf, I used to deliberately keep a few people in the dark and observe the reactions of the synth vendors. If the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individuals informed of our orders must be innocent. If the vendors packed up and fled, however, then someone must have given them the news. After several rounds of testing and investigative tracing, I've narrowed the suspect list down to three people. Okay, lay it on me. The first is Florent, Spina de Rosula's senior advisor. Huh? Florent? Yes, surprising, isn't it? Who? Oh. <laughs> he was one of the people Boss trusted the most. Which also means that he was someone who understood Boss really well. Ah, it could be the people you trust, true. Thanks to his position within Boss's innermost circle, he always knew our upcoming plans and could thus avoid capture this whole time. There's someone else like him too. Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere. Uncle Marcel. What is this Confrérie? It's a guild in Poisson. The boss helped it to grow to its current size and prominence. In the beginning, they were only reselling some daily goods, but now they're one of the richest guilds around with a lot of business connections in the city. Corpa. So, they're like a sister organization of Spina di Rosula? Mm-hmm. Yes, you can say that. When we were fighting against the synth dealers, they provided us with plenty of support. So why would they why would they do that to your father then? It's a bit difficult to imagine someone using their own money to hunt down themselves. The final suspect is Thierry, the man responsible for coordinating information between Spina di Rosula and the guards. Although the guards mostly leave us to our own devices, there are still many activities we have to report to the local authorities. Since Thierry is always in the know about our current activities, he could theoretically always plan one step ahead. True. I see. These are all people who I communicate with quite regularly. To think that the enemy we've been fighting against has been right next to me all along, among those I trust the most. It's almost too hard to believe. 
Um, actually, yeah, uh, usually most crimes are committed by people who are closest to the victim. Come on, you're, you're a true crime girl, shouldn't you know that? If you want to investigate them, please take every precaution to not alert the quarry. Judging from our experience, the enemy is extremely cautious. Mm, of course. And thank you, Malus. You've provided us with a lot of great information. You're too kind, my lady. I'm just doing my duty. Uh, and before I forget, uh, proving Boss's innocence would also mean clearing him of blame in Jacques's death. Yeah. After that incident, Jacques's wife and daughter were taken into the Spina's care. They still live in Poisson today. If it might help, you could also pay them a visit. I can make the necessary arrangements. Aw, thank you so much, Melus. You really are the best. A new case awaits, my dear partner. Leave it to me. I'm on the case. I hope we can work together to uncover the truth and end this case once and for all. Without casualties, might I add? Surely. Uh, three years ago, on a rainy night, banquet goers heard two gunshots outside the house. When they reached the scene, Callis had a gun in his hands, and Jocks, had, and Jocks has been slain, shot and slain. Based on the investigations done then, there was no possibility that anyone else could have done the deed and escaped. And Callus was thus adjudged to have been the culprit. There is a Hydroculus here. Where? Aha. Give me that. So how are you guys enjoying this so far? I think this... I think this quest is actually really interesting. It's a lot different compared to the other quests that we've done. Especially with all the um, investigation elements in it. Provides for a lot of unique storytelling, I think. Slightly better than Sumeru, in your opinion. It's got a very strong start, I will say. It is a very, very strong start. Especially uh, starting off with uh, Lenny's, Lenny's case. I was really good. Can we get in our Ace Attorney bag? Yeah, I was really fun. Uh, let me get let me get a snack real quick, and also get some more water as well. Yep. Give me one second.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Sorry. I got some snack. It is settled then. Please excuse me and enjoy your conversation at your leisure. Thank you for arranging everything for us, Malus. Excuse me, miss. Do you need anything from us? That child does not look happy. Uh-oh. <laughs> she about to say some very mean words to us because we all know that children do not hold back. Uh-oh. Ah, all right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> She's not happy. Oh. Hey, Navia's all quiet. This isn't like her at all. Let's not bother her for now. I'm sorry that I only came to visit after all this time. After what happened, I didn't know how I was supposed to face the two of you. Ah, if it's about that, there's no need to apologize. After my husband died, Spina di Rusula sent us a lot of Mora and support. I understood your guilt and apology to be genuine. Aren't all of those things nothing compared to the loss of Jacques? <sighs> I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so needlessly. You don't understand at all. I didn't know how to face you. Because I didn't know what I could possibly bring as a consolation gift. I know only the full truth could bring closure to you. And to all of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't have to carry all that guilt. On the matter regarding my husband, my daughter and I have more or less found our answer already. Would you mind sharing it with me? I really can't believe that my father could ever bring himself to shoot Jacques. I always knew that my husband's money was earned through others' suffering. He told oh. me countless times that if he could turn back the clock, he would never go into the synth business again. He had many regrets, and felt that he took the idea of providing for his family too literally. For the longest time, he thought Mora was everything. Mm -hmm. So when Mr. Callis came to him with a proposal, he accepted it almost immediately. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even so, he was still found out by the higher-ups. Oh. They found out... About his betrayal? Papa didn't say that exactly, but Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. Before he left that day, he told me that he had no choice. It was only later that I realized it was his final farewell to the two of us. So someone ordered him to get taken out. Mm. Well. I don't know that for sure. But you could say that's the conclusion I eventually came to. That would make sense. Hmm. Which is why I'm the one who should feel guilty. Callus had always taken great care of us, both when he was still alive and after he passed away. Even if he fired the shot that killed my husband, it was likely in self-defense. It is impossible for me to hate him for what he had done. 
But Mama, why is Papa still the bad guy if he did the right thing? Papa always wanted to be a good man. So why did he have to do a bad thing in the end? Damn. Well, things aren't always as they seem. You still feel like your Papa was a good man. Yeah. Papa was a really good man. The best in the whole world. Then you should hold on to that. If a good man had to do a bad thing, then he must have had his reasons. Regardless of whether he left you a parasol or a sword. He must have done so to give you a better life. Right. Tell her. Oh. Tell her. Thank you for everything you've told me. I will definitely find the truth. The current state of things is not something I'm willing to just sit back and accept. Thank you. I'm very grateful to hear this from you. Even though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination when you speak is really similar. You really think so? That's the first time anyone said that to me. <laughs> Aww. Navi is really cool. She's really, really cool. Doc's family believes that he had struggled greatly with the order to kill Callus. Uh, Callus is acting self defense. Well, did Callus act in self defense, or was there more to the accident? Hmm. I'll leave my husband's case to you. Thank you, Miss Spina, and Miss Spina's friend. Are you okay, Navia? Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry. Let's investigate the three suspects next. Florence oh. should be nearby, and we should be able to find Thierry and Uncle Marcel in the city. That did go better. I'll get myself together on the way. So please don't worry. That went better, a lot better than I expected. I really thought that kid was gonna go off on us. I thought we were about to hear some nasty words, but <laughs> thankfully they were more um, understanding. Greetings, boss. How may I be of assistance today? I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the opera house. Someone got turned into water right in front of us. Yeah, I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's worth. And it'll be all the talk for the next several weeks. It also reminded me, on the day that the incident happened with my father, it was raining outside, and we found some clothes left at the scene. After my partner here put the dots together for me, I feel like we should try to reopen his case. Can you do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night? Hmm. Let me think. Mr. Callis was feeling pretty upbeat that day. So he was drinking and bantering away with us at the table. Uh-huh. After that, he told us that he wanted to go get some fresh air. So we let him go without thinking much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? Really? My first reaction was that Mr. Callis's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callis was standing over a dead body with a gun in his hands. All we could do was look back and forth at each other. Is that no really? To say. Is that really what happened? He just said, yeah, guys, I'm going up for some fresh air and then shot and killed a dude. <laughs> huh? So you also remember two gunshots then? Indeed. The guards said that the first shot didn't hit anyone, while the second killed Jacques. But I've never really bought that explanation. Yeah, because wouldn't there be a bullet somewhere? Reason being, Mr. Callis had left his gun on the table. I even made sure to confirm that before running to the scene. But according to the guards, that doesn't mean he couldn't have had other guns on his person. About the clothes left at the scene that you mentioned. Do you think there was a third person there who was turned into water? It's possible. At least from our perspective, my father had no reason to kill. So he would also have no reason to bring an extra gun with him. Yeah. The gun he was holding probably belonged to Jacques or a third person on the scene. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So you're saying Mr. Callis ended up with the gun because he seized it from one of the other guys? 
But hold on. If that's what had happened, then why didn't he share the truth with any of us? He didn't even want to face the Oratrice machine, and chose instead to prove his honor in a duel. True. Did he lose all faith in the courts after seeing someone dissolve right in front of his eyes? I mean, wouldn't it be pretty hard to prove if the if the person who literally committed the crime is out of existence? Because there is no evidence then. I mean, well, there is evidence, but if the person doesn't even exist anymore, then how the hell are you going to get them onto trial to actually prove that they did it? Actually, that makes me wonder. How do you prove that someone didn't commit a crime if the actual if the actual perpetrator is already dead or like missing how do you prove that mm, about that Malus told me a thing or two so i think i can understand why he committed to the duel any law students i'll tell you everything once the whole truth has been revealed i understand then I'll leave Mr. Callus's honor in your hands, boss. And if I may just say one more thing, the whole Callus the unfaithful epithet has been a thorn in my side since the day it was invented. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him Mr. Callus, even after so many years have passed. But it was Mr. Callus's trust that allowed me to rise through the ranks of Spina di Rosula and live the life I lead today. No matter what others might say, he'll always be the man I respect the most. And he'll always be my boss. I'm loyal to the end. Don't worry. I will definitely find the truth. You and all our other comrades at the Spina deserve to know the truth as well. Actually, you know what? That makes me realize, well, I mean, I already did get an answer to my question that I just asked. Because we basically solved the previous case with Lenny because the dude was already dead. Huh? <laughs> Lenny's case was basically trying to figure out like if the dude that committed the crime is already dead and how they did it. Uh, Florent, the uh, the visor to Spina de Rosuda claimed that he was very grateful to Callus for his kindness. He was also present at the banquet on the day of the case and could provide evidence that Callus did not carry a gun with him when he went out. It's a, there's a, aha. Um. Oh, oh wait, I forgot I could dive. Wow. This is my first time diving, actually. <laughs> it's just to get a Hydroculus. I've never done this, actually. This is cool. Wee, fishies. Look at the fishies. Cool. Is that how you swim faster underwater? You just wag yourself like that? <laughs> cool. That's actually that's actually sick. But also, on, aren't only uh, Fontaine characters and the Traveler able to dive? Yeah. Oh, no. Actually, no. Everyone else can dive, too. What was it about that, that they said that only Fontaine characters can do? I forget. Wait, hold on. Was it... Was it this? Oh, you can't jump out of the water. You can't jump out of the water like the the Traveler and Fontaine characters can. I see. But why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> why have that locked under Fontaine characters? What? <laughs> Shh. 
Why is that locked on your Fontaine characters? What the hell? <laughs> they gotta push them somehow? I guess. Well, now I gotta go all the way to the court of Fontaine. Nobody's an acrobat. You're telling me Kokomi can't do it? How could how how would Kokomi not be able to do that? What about let's see who else? What about Sino? I'm sure that man could do that. He could definitely do that. There's no way. Sayu is athletic as fuck. There is no way that she wouldn't be able to dive out the water. Mona, she literally jumps out of her world of like her little pool of water. All the time. You're telling me they can't do that? No way, dude. No way. No way. Yeah, Xiao could too as well. Like, there's so, nah, that, I don't buy that. It's me. I have D-Luke? Yeah, I got D-Luke like a long time ago, I think. I forgot who I was wishing for when I got D-Luke. Oh, now, what brings you here, Miss Navia? I've heard that you made quite the name for yourself at the Opera House. Oh, so you've caught news of that already. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm also a member of the Guards, you know. The way you make it sound, people would think I was sent off to Poisson because I had done something wrong. Are you sure there isn't a little bit of truth in that? Under normal circumstances, shouldn't you have been called back to the city already? <laughs> I mean, where I work is really up to me. Let's just say I enjoy the ambiance of Poisson. Callus did a fantastic job running the town. Building Spina di Rasula from the ground up and clearing many obstructions in my way. It would be next to impossible for me to find a similarly easy but high-paying job in the city. Uh-huh. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Are these two friends of yours? You, uh, here for some formal business? No, just listening. Also, it's kind of funny to look at him from this angle. His eyebrows are just missing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. These two are my partners. What happened at the Opera House made us realize that Linny's case and my father's may be related. We're trying to reinvestigate the details of my father's old case. Ah, oh, I get it. You think there might be more to the case now that we know people can be dissolved into water, right? Yep. I was also flabbergasted when I first heard of it. If you want to go through the original files from your father's case, I can help you look for them. Uh... That'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, actually, I have another question. Do you have the authority to dispatch Gardamex? Of course. Without them, I couldn't possibly handle Poisson on my own. Uh -huh. Why do you ask? We definitely can't use them to forcefully get more evidence for your father's case. Can we take a look at them? Maybe... Hmm. We should take a look at them to see if they have serial numbers on them, right? Well, you see, just recently, we were attacked by a horde of unnumbered Gardamex in the city. So, <laughs> if you hypothetically wanted to do something against me, no. all you would need to do was get rid of the mecha serial numbers and send them after me. Namiya, you're making it too obvious. Come on, now we're supposed to be quite... <laughs> oh my god, this man's not gonna give up shit now. Come on. You gotta do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> then you think too highly of my abilities. Dispatching Mecha is very different from controlling them. If I had to make an analogy, when you order a dish, the chef will make it for you. You can ask the chef to cook, but not to massage your shoulders or carry your baggage. Mm, yeah. If you try to make unreasonable demands, the chef would just think you're out of your mind and ignore you completely. The same goes for me and my Gardamex. Removing a serial number is also not as easy as you might think. There are a lot of complex steps to it, and it's almost impossible to keep it a secret. So I can promise you, 
Those mecha were definitely private units. They're certainly not cheap. So, whoever their owner is must be super rich, powerful, or both. Now that you mention it, though, being in the synth business would definitely be profitable enough to afford this. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. Oh, <laughs> then you're officially in the clear, Thierry. <laughs> Something about that, it seems a little fishy, but... <laughs> well, thank you for the vote of confidence, Navia. Jokes aside, I'd like to wish you all the best with your investigation. I'll be staying in the city for a little while, so just come find me if you need any support from the guards. Something about that doesn't seem right to me. Theory is the person responsible for official contact between Spina, the Spina de Wazula and the guards. According to him, the only sufficiently rich can privately own large numbers of guard marks. Guard mechs. I'll see what I can do for you and Spina de Rasula when it comes to guard stuff, but don't go advertising it to everyone else. <laughs> uh huh. She said you're broke, the <laughs> Broke! This man broke! How much do you think he gets paid? I've always wondered how much, um, how much, like, employees in Tevat usually get paid. Do you think they've got, like, a good living cost situation here? All right, good night, Zilly. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, how far do I have to go? I'm gonna go one. They have free health care? True. The water buzz god I met yesterday is certainly underpaid. True. <laughs> yeah, she definitely don't get paid enough to do that job. She is the bare minimum bandit. <laughs> the the most monotone voice of all time. Hello, how may I help you? I'm here to see Marcel. Could you please let him know? You can just say Navia's looking for him. Sure, I will let him know right away. He arrives in a hurry. Uh, Navia, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not as young as I used to be, so my legs are giving out a bit. Oh, it's all right, Uncle Marcel. There's no need to stress. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about what happened in the Opera House. I'm sure you saw everything too, right? Yes, uh, I've never seen anything so strange. Oh, you were at the Opera House too? That's right. I went there with Navia to see the magic show. Who knew it would turn into a whole murder mystery? I also witnessed your marvelous sleuthing work. Quite impressive. To beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf, I can already imagine everyone in Fontaine discussing your exploits over a few glasses of wine. Yup. Yup, that's me. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to become the talk of drunkards. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Everyone loves drama and theatrics. Uncle Marcel, you've also noticed that other thing, right? The puppy. The fact that humans can dissolve in water? Look at the puppy in the background. That's man. That puppy jerked out. Damn. Look at that. <laughs> yes. I was reminded of your father's case right away. Is that what you're investigating now? Exactly. I still don't have much solid proof, but I can sense that the other side has already begun to act. Oh, and what makes you say that? We were attacked on Araneus by some unnumbered Gardamax. And there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the Primordial Sea. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. The accidental vigilance. Oh, you're giving us 
too much credit. Wasn't it you who protected us? Alas, it seems things are heating up again. The peace that Callus sought so dearly will soon become a thing of the past. But rest assured, Navia, Poisson will always remain a safe haven for you. Poisson. If you're scared, you can always return there. If anyone dares to lay their hands on you there, the Confrérie of Cabriere will use its funds to the last Mora to bring them to justice. Thank you, Uncle Marcel. But I don't intend to go into hiding. I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Do you have any new thoughts on my father's case? Ah, about that. Sorry, my age is catching up with me. So it'll take me a while to recall my memory. He just like me. The Confrere was responsible for that banquet. So I was out and about the whole time, making sure things were running smoothly. I didn't even have the time to drink with the guests. Then I heard the sound of a gunshot, and the rest was history. Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. We'll ask around some more, see if there are any valuable clues elsewhere. Sounds good. Just let me know if you ever need Mora. All my wealth comes from Callus's patronage and support. I'll spend however much it takes to clear his name. That's actually kind of convenient though, because imagine if you're old and someone comes into you for questioning, and you could literally just make the excuse that like, oh, I'm old, my brain isn't working like it used to. You know, I can't remember anything. <laughs> All of a sudden, I don't remember what I was doing last night. Honey, do you remember where I was at? I don't know, sweetie. Uh, Marcel is the leader of the of the Confrere of Cab Confrere of Cabria, uh, and was the organizer of the banquet years prior. The Confrere and the Smita de Rosula have always maintained a close working relationship, though his recollection of the events of the case is quite foggy. He's willing to defend Navia. Every scent tells a story. He ain't that old. I mean, he's got some gray hair. His mustache is gray too. He, he's got he's got the gray hair and everything. But he can still walk around pretty nice. Hey, look at his dog. Look at that dog. It's got a cane? Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> this dog has a fucking cane and everything? I'm jealous. I'm jealous of a dog. When is it my turn to be having really nice clothes like that dog? <laughs> Robot kind of cool. You can gray hairs at 40? Yeah, no. I hope I don't. I mean, it's inevitable, but... It's inevitable. Honestly, I would rather have gray hairs than, than be balding. Uh, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'll take gray hairs any day. You've talked to all three suspects, purely based on their conversations with me. None of them sounded particularly suspicious. Yeah, none of them really stood out as a suspect. Mm, I suppose that's to be expected, though. If a single conversation's all that's needed to find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. Yeah. Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Hmm. But where should we start? Jacques' motive. Ah, you're right! Florent mentioned that Callus probably only ended up with the gun because of circumstance. Hmm. That makes sense. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered and that he had no choice before he left home that day. Hmm. If I had to guess, he probably received an order from the synth boss to kill my father. Had he refused, he and his family's lives would have been forfeit. So Jacques fired the first shot? Could be. If I was Jock's, if I was Jock, I wouldn't have fired a shot at. Okay, but okay, you're the traveler. Of course you wouldn't. Oh, and why is that? 
Could he guarantee his safety after killing Kallus? Uh. Could he guarantee his family's safety after killing Kallus? Mmm. That's true. I mean... It would be pretty messed up for them to still go after his family even after the deed is done, though. Mmm. Then again, this is this is also a, an evil organization that we're talking about. What well, is like an evil drug organization? So, uh, eh, no. Oh, that's a good point. Jack probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder, and once he had completed his mission, he'd be of no more use to his boss. Huh. So, what would make more sense from his perspective? would be to turn his back on the Order and seek protection from my father. So the third person who was the one who derailed everything? Mm, makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching. Sorry. Besides, Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit as well. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the Primordial Seawater was revealed. Do you think he knew, even then, that we'd follow this lead to the end? Given everything that's happened since, uh, it's quite possible. But who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamex? Florent, Theory, or Marcel? <sighs> hmm. Marcel seems rich. Who was Marcel? Marcel was the um, was Marcel the uh, the guard, or oh the old guy? Oh, uh. hmm, hmm. The private guards would the the Gardamex would be privately owned, and the guards wouldn't really have access to one without serial numbers, unless they would take all that time to not. Unless they would take all that time to scratch off of the scratch off the serial numbers. Theory seems too obvious. Yeah, and as we've seen, it's not usually the most obvious answer. So maybe it could be Marcel. Uncle Marcel? Uh, hmm. My father did really trust him. And they worked together on a large number of projects. Maybe that's how he got to know Jacques. And with funds from the Confrerie, he could also afford a large number of Gardamex. It's still really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle Marcel has been around since I was just a child. It's always the one that's most close. That's the closest, though. You know? Also, wouldn't this mean he has been spending a whole lot of mora and energy to fight his own synth business? Maybe it was something else? Um... Maybe it's all just a front. Maybe it's just to get- to take some blame off of him. He's not actually doing anything to fight against the synth business. He's literally just, I don't know, funneling money back- back and forth into it. Yeah, that's the perfect cover, honestly. Fighting your own orga organization to make sure that nobody suspects you? Mm, we're on to you. We're on to you, buddy. Hmm. I'm gonna choose, uh, Theory next. Thierry, you say? Thierry. Huh. It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex for personal use. But I didn't feel like he was lying when he was talking to us about the Mecca. I also don't think he'd be able to keep that kind of tampering under wraps. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's possible, I would say. Yeah, had he actually tampered with the Mecca, we'd be able to prove it with a simple check of the guard's inventory. 
If the mecha were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out when and how that happened. Hmm. But if they're privately owned, then it doesn't matter if there was a... Then they wouldn't come out of the guards inventory. They would have been built somewhere else. Hmm. I don't know. What about Florent? Flora? Flora. It is true that he was closest to my father, and thus had the best chance of learning about his dealings with Jacques. But as Spina di Rosula's advisor, his work mostly deals with personnel and security, so he shouldn't have much means when it comes to finances. So you're saying he's too broke to afford a <laughs> The man broke. <laughs> A <laughs> good way to put it, Paimon. Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. <sighs> Who could it be? I think... Oh, now I have to figure it out? Oh, boy. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I'm missing one thing. Shit. Oh. Ah... <sighs> Hmm. Theory is the person responsible. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. Um. Hmm. I wonder. This is hard, actually. I don't... Hmm. This actually is a little hard. Because there's not really much we're going off of, are we? We are uh, not going off a lot. Shit. Well... Hmm. What's the tag on the book? Is that a magnifying glass? Message bubbles? This? Yeah, it's like... Different tabs. Oh, I get to listen to smooth jazz while figuring this out? Hold on. Hmm, listen to that. So relaxing. Eat the riches, all you're gonna say. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> hmm. Okay, what I'm thinking, it could either be Foran or Marcel. That's what I'm thinking right now. Marcel, for one, because he's rich as hell, he could buy all of the, um, he could buy all of the, uh, all of the bots, and he could, and he could be using his fight against, uh, he could be using his fight against the organization as, like, a cover-up. Florent, Following the advisor to Spina de Rosula claimed that he was very grateful. Uh, he was also present at the banquet on the day of the case and can provide evidence that Callus did not carry a gun with him when he went out. Hmm. 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 
Because nobody gets a sub now. You know what? Why don't we just go for the first, for the one obvious one first? Let's try Marcel. Because I feel like everyone wants to do Marcel. You know, if you think everything through, Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Could we be missing other suspects? Malus didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? <sighs> Malus has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well-considered. When he laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. The suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs, has the means to dispatch Mecca to assassinate us, and possesses significant intellect and foresight. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. And he is someone that's very close to you, after all. Thank you, uh, this is Chuck for the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. A gift sub, Pog. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're like the first one, too. Thank you. Also, I should probably uh, disable sub alerts for now. Just in, just in case. Just for the video. No hard feelings, but... Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. Um, well, we still... Hmm. The synth production base. Are we really going to go to the, to the production base? Yes. Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. But we don't have any other options right now. Oh. We need far more solid proof before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. Oh. oh I've been looking for you. What's up? Huh? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did something happen? Yeah. News came from Arrhenius just after you left. We've got another trial on our hands. Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? What's so newsworthy about this one? I know, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui harbinger called Tartaglia. What? What did he do? No. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> I thought he said he wasn't going to do anything. What did he do? <laughs> this dude can't stop getting into trouble. Oh my god. Child. What? Is that someone you know? This man. Yeah, we know him. Maybe even a little too well. Well, he's been accused of being the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. What? It's absurd, don't you think? What? Okay. You know what? I hate to, I hate to defend a I'm not I guess you don't hate to I don't hate to defend a Fatui member because I just did that like in the last act but child 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 of all people nah mm -mm. Mm -mm. already that sounds sus as hell wait how none of our investigations have had anything to do with him that's what I thought was strange about it so I came to tell you the news right away if the charge against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to support any of our planned investigations. Right. Because they'll think they've already found the culprit. Yeah. And it'll be a lot harder then to clear Mr. Callis's name. Hmm. I understand. <sighs> well, partner, what do you think we should do? We still haven't found any conclusive evidence. Uh... Um... Let's split up. Huh? Split up? What do you mean? You can go to Aaron. Uh, you can go to Aaron, yes, and I'll investigate that place. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. Okay. So we're going to infiltrate. <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case. The culprit's attention will be focused on Arrhenius, leaving his Arrhenius. home base wide open. You're right. 
This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right then, let's do this. I'll stall them at the Opera House and charge Marcel as the true culprit. I won't have any chance of making that charge stick though, unless we find more evidence. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence to me. Leave it to me. We'll help you, just like you helped us in Lenny's trial. Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. I'm ready. Ah, oh, <laughs> Malou, Silver, when did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson and figured that you might require our assistance. It's our hope that your confidence will be bolstered with the two of us by your side. <laughs> I like that this guy is always wearing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Then, let's make haste for Araneus. Paimon, Traveler, I'll see you at the Opera House. See you then! Combining the information regarding the Gardamex and the investigation results so far, it can be concluded that there is only one person who can have a large amount of Gardamex in his possession and run the, smith, the synth business without leaving traces. This person is none other than Marcel. So I picked the right answer? Did I pick the right answer the first time? Now that Navia has set out for Araneus, we should also get going. The location has already been marked on the map, so let's head over. Yeah. I wonder what happens if you choose the other ones. Does she get mad at you? Also, drip marketing for Nibile and uh, Ryusle. Uh, I'm excited for Ryusle. He looks really cool. Huh. According to Malus's info, the synth production base is underwater. Oh. Let's go and try to find the entrance. Here we go. We're gonna go diving. We Wow. Uh oh. Swear. It said it told me to absorb what? Gameplay tutorial. Sometimes the strange clusters of transoceanic source water will appear beside you, allowing you to unleash power using your will and deliver attacks. When attacking special xenochromatic fontamer aberrants, their powers can be absorbed for a certain period. Well, so you do this. Huh? Going. Yoink! Give me that! Ow, wait, what, what did I get hit by? What the hell? Oh, damn! Oh, that did so much damage! No, the poor Stingray! Uh oh! Yoink! Oh! Oh, this one's fine. Oh, these are friendly. Oh, these ones are friendly. The green ones aren't. I see. Transoceanic pearls. Look at the fish. It's so pretty. Resilience and vitality of Fontamer Seagrass. Some weak sections of Fontamer Seagrass will shine with a special light. These must all be completely cut using Fontamer Water Blades or they will regrow. Huh. And there's recovery orbs as well. Most characters from Fontaine have an arc and thus can use their attacks to trigger, en to trigger energies corresponding to their arc attribute. On water without the use of Nemosia blocks.
Ja. Finally found it. Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. Is she speaking underwater? She seem out of the ordinary at all. Is she speaking underwater or is she doing this telepathically? Um, well, they don't want to stand out. You're right. What? An important place like this is bound to have a ton of protective measures and mechanisms. She is speaking underwater. What the hell? How is she? How can she do that? What the fuck? Navi is probably arguing up a storm right now to stall for us. What the hell? It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. However, I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist, Clorend, right? Oh, no. I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. <laughs> hey, don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. Telling that to child. Oh, sounds a like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the Opera House. Then why don't you duel me too? Oh. I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. What? <laughs> what, you too scared? Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. And we have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. <laughs> that case had nothing to do with him. You've got the wrong man. Stop the court. Huh? What's going on? Again? <laughs> She's going to become like a known figure. Everyone's going to be like hoping that she comes in at this point. <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? <laughs> <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? <sighs> we can put the discussion aside for now. I'm not here Based. to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default. Correct? Oh. A young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Well, I'd gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? He's so cocky. You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. <laughs> this man's definitely going to end up fighting someone here. Now then, Miss Navia. Who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... What? Oh shit. Again? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, it, it was Marcel, right? Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere. Huh? What Confrérie? Never heard of them in my life. I've heard of them, but... Weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? <laughs> <laughs> Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that nah. charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. Committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. And if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Knowing this, 
Do you still wish to charge this man? Yes. Yes, I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. She's a drama frog. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney. Is that correct? Ah, uh, apologies, sir. It all just happens so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. You sure you don't want an attorney? That is a very, very interesting choice. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. He's a little too confident for me. Not wanting an attorney when you're being falsely accused? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? I... Uh, I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. No, the enough, audience please. doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that okay. case. Okay, all right, dude. <sighs> exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Confrerie of Cabriere. Okay. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callis, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, while the second must have taken Jacques's life. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. These are the known facts about the case. Mm. The one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first, and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the Primordial Sea. Here we go. Alright, how long do y'all think this is gonna take me? Gee, wait, let me turn on the light. Let me turn my light. Turn on my light. Um. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Two gunshots. Cows who had a murder who had a motive to kill murder jocks. For his betrayal, but is that really true? Either this one or this one. 
either Jox's family testimony or the information for Florin is on this one. I'm gonna go with Jock's family testimony first. Okay, the testimony yeah. of the victim's family confirms that Jock had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. However, in the end, he reconsidered and instead shared everything with Callus, hoping to seek the latter's protection. Unfortunately for Jock, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. Okay. After conducting a reinvestigation, it is certain now that Callus did not bring a gun with him. Moreover, the details of the case point towards the possible existence of a third person on the scene. This that assassin one. first shot Jock, then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. Yeah. Um. As a result, they con they suspect they conclude that the suspect's first shot must have missed, while the second must have taken Jock's life. Deduction is based on the circumstances where there is no third person on the scene, but it turns out there is a method that can cleverly come up with the killer's tracks. The primordial seawater. A pile of clothing was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But mm -hmm. now, it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene. And that they were turned into water after committing the murder. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. There we go. Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. This is the true version of events. First try. Woo! I'm so good at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to law school. You know what? I'm gonna become like Quackity and go to law school. Let me get some water. W. Ah, so that's what happened. <sighs> water tastes so good. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial sea has been used for all these years? Yeah. What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. <laughs> For real, this man is just like, wow, you did great. Holy, I didn't, I didn't even think of that. Bro, you are being charged. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Uh, then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. One. Do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm Damn. afraid not. At least not at this very moment. They got us here, though. Boo! <laughs> if you don't have any evidence, you should just go home! And shut up! I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. If we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nivellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Huh. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? <laughs> She's not very eagle-like, is she? Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, yep. We scared her ass into it. We scared her ego off. <laughs> a 
Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. Yeah, also she probably doesn't want to charge somebody that's innocent again. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. I've thought about this too, and the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. Mm -hmm. At that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Yeah. Boss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? True. Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. Talk to him! Talk to him! So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent. Clarand. Yeah, the person standing right next to you. I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clarand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? <sighs> yes. I did. Uh huh. As a champion duelist, I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives. In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twist. Just one look, and I Fuck, can I tell again. if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. That's my bad. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. <sighs> so she was right. Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. Damn. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. Damn, Corin. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. <laughs> Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? <laughs> of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. And, at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. Yup. So that's why you suspected me. <sighs> Even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. Why? I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. 
It's one of your most endearing traits. Oh, gaslighting, are we now? No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? Uh. I don't know what she can say to that. Oops. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah well, let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. <laughs> it's timing again. Uh-huh. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. What? It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. There... there doesn't... In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. Wait, Snezhnaya? But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Uh, I do apologize, Demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, it's not your fault. I'm sure. Is there anything else? Fuck! I skipped like again. Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? Okay, but this, that doesn't mean that you can't also be involved in it, even if it started beforehand. You can also take a look at my border entry records, or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Oh, seems like she got the wrong guy. At this rate, Nagi will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? Holy gaslighting! Oh my god! Gaslighting Gary, what the fuck? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious, instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings, and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. This isn't just about me, and it never has been. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. While that same agency has long been taken from then, the people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse, the people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice, many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Vache. Oh. Ooh, got his ass. Oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Okay, then why'd you pause there for a second, huh? I was waiting for you to say that. Caught his ass. No! No! We had to... <laughs> we're back to swimming? You're kidding me! Nah. Wow. Okay. Well. My immersion! It's gone, man! What the hell? I was interested in that. Fuck. You know, I feel like the smoothing the swimming mechanics underwater are so much smoother than like when they're uh, treading on surface or like the surface of the water. Anybody else feel that? Party setup. You always know I was thinking what the starter is. Oh wait, actually no. Hold on, I can't. Do I use? Hydro Traveler here? I don't know. Cause he's like... 
he he has like no talents. Mains is like <laughs> he's got nothing on him. Eh, screw it, why not? Surrender and I'll be gentle. Bro, why does that bubble travel so fast? That bubble does not need to travel that fast. Not the water gun. Yeah, his skills are basically just water gun. He's even pointing. <laughs> you can see his points. Water jet. He just stands still. He he literally just stands still and points a water gun at people. Constellation reduced bubble speed. Yeah, I saw it before. We need to go up, but Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. Yeah, I saw earlier when I was looking at the constellations that, uh, that it gives that. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, cool. I'm gonna grab another one. Thank you. Travis, oh, reminds you of Hollow Purple. JJ Care reference? Oh my god, Gojo? The water level is rising! Now we can swim to the top! But this is still a ways away from where we need to go. I still don't understand how Paimon is just speaking underwater. Ow. Parmon has her own laws. Imagine building all this just for a secret lair. Like <laughs> why do why do all villains just like build their secret lairs so <laughs> like it's so confusingly? Like this is just a this is like an architectural like masterpiece and and like like it's so how, how would you put it? 
it's so over the top and extravagant that, that it really doesn't feel like it needs to be a secret lair. Like, why is this not just like a museum or some shit? Like, this is crazy. Who built this? Where did you get the time to build all of this? How does he move in and out? Where's his shortcut? For real. Like... Does he gotta go through all sure these mechanisms the before he could even, like, <laughs> get, get to his office? Sounds like ass, honestly. How is he keeping supplying op how does he keep supplying oxygen here though? That's what I'm saying. Well, if I'm not mistaken, he's being charged by Navia as we speak. <sighs> That's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the Opera House and help Navia. Navia, is it? I keep pronouncing it Navia instead of Navia. God damn it. Navia. Whoa. There's so much synth here. And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. There's so many. Mixing in progress, ready to drink, stack sample? Huh, they've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. Whoa, there's even fruit flavored synth? <laughs> <laughs> wow, they, they, they even introduced flavors to it, huh? Well, that definitely proves that this is where they produce synth. Yep, it's super obvious. A popular potion circulating quite widely. It gives the drinker a very pleasant experience for a short time, but its side effects are equally strong. The producer uses these special characteristics to earn a massive profit from its trade. They are really, like, <laughs> they are really avoiding calling this a drug. I feel like they're very, very afraid to just call this a drug. For some reason. Like, what's the matter, horrorverse? You can say how it is. You can call it what it is. Don't worry. We're not gonna get What's you for it. Huh, oh, it's a bunch of really cute things. Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box. Wait, pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, and even a makeup box. There's a name too. Oh, Paimon sees it too, but why are all these cute things labeled with different girls' names? Oh, they probably belong to the victims. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Killers keep fucking ugh, gross. They keep memoirs from their victims sometimes. I forgot about that. Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here? And then they were turned into water. Yeah. And all the boxes of things. These names. That means Oh, this is terrible. Gross. Damn. Discovered objects within the containers labeled with the names of those who own them within the depths of the HQ. The names here must have had something to do with the victims in the serial disappearances case. This might be proof that this was their final stop. Poor girls. Poor girls. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. 
research. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial sea and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, what? and 24 were dissolved. 24? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, Traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's just that Paimon's never read something so scary before. How could someone write something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone? You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. Damn, they killed 24 people here, and that's only the ones that we've seen written down. What the hell? Damn. Well, that's that's only the ones that they've kept track of. What the fuck? Um, the goal of the researcher is to save his lover, a woman called Vig Vignir, who is who was dissolved. So that's why he did all of these experiments. Wait, did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane. There's another name here. Barche. Huh? Is it that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. He's the... Why did I... Oh my... He's the fucking researcher? Damn. Damn. He, he dissolved his own... Wow. It's always one... It's, it's, it's always one of your own... They really do be your own people. That is crazy. <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? Yes, he signed off on a bunch of the experiment reports. The voice I heard from the founder was probably... Wow. Big Nier. So that's it. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? It must be more than this than meets the eye. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Bengold's research conclusions on the primordial sea and use this theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. There are many more records like these. He wanted to save her? Save her my ass. Man has dissolved so many people just for what? One girl? Yeah, sure. My ass. Even if he is trying to save her, why the fuck do, do dozens of innocent women have to die for that? What? Sounds like Otto. <laughs> they're, taking a, they're taking a page out of Otto Apocalypse's book. <laughs> oh, look! There's an important looking basin over here. And it's full of water. That must be the water from the primordial sea. That means this is where they make all the synth. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human! Paimon will take notes on this incriminating evidence! Some freaky water, look at that. The fountain pool within the HQ is filled with water from the primordial sea. Um, the mastermind can use this to create synth and, and directly use it to dissolve people. Do I allow the word bussy in chat? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're fine. <laughs> I'm not sure what you would use the word bussy for, but... Bussy. Bussy. So they synthesize it? Okay, dude. Alright. Can he jump into it? No. Invisible wall. I think if we jumped into it, we would probably disappear out of existence. Why does it do that? That's weird. It just rises to the ceiling. Huh. Let's see 
what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. It's probably related to to his and Jock's case. Yep. Is there anything else? Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. Mm -hmm. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Yeah, we were right. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. They planned this well in advance. <laughs> They're all just so evil. Clues concerning the Kalos case that were found inside the bookshelf. The mastermind did not believe that Jox would do the deed and thus send a third party to ensure Kalos' death. The content that followed will also define the culprit's motive to some extent. We've looked at almost everything here and it seems like our theories were spot on, but... Who really is this Abashe? Unable to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Vache. Does Va does the name Vache like ring any bells? Does it does it mean anything? Let me see. Va Vache. Let me see. Wait, wait, if you search up Vacher, it brings up a French serial killer. <laughs> well, maybe it's a good thing I didn't search that up <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it's clever, but maybe not clever enough. Let's look again. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Vashe also, Vashe also means cow herder? Hmm. <sighs> what more is there? What over here? Nope, an invisible wall. I'm stuck. There we go. Is there anything else? What the hell? Oh. You take that side and Paimon will take this side. Check everything carefully. We'll find something for sure. After some time. Paimon, I found it. Whoa, really? What Paimon see? Vinier. Isn't that Vashe's lover's name? Vinier. Then you found her diary. Let's see. Oh. Aww. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Paimon feels even worse for her now. Take a look at this page. She made a list of baby names. What the hell? I can't read this. I can't read this. I'm illiterate. Come on now. So many. A whole page's worth. But they're all crossed out. 
Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was... Marcel. Mark. Wait, but... Marcel's pretty old. Oh, has this case been going on for so long that he's Fache and Veneer's grown son? Wait, how long is this? Marcel is like, what? Fucking... This man is old enough to be forgetting about details and growing gray hair. How long has this shit been going on? What? Damn. This is going on for 20 years? Damn. I figured it out. Let's go, Paimon. A notebook belonging to a lady named Vignier. She record she records many stories of her time with her lover, Vacher. On one of these pages, she prepared many names for their future child. The name she settled on in the end was Marcel. Puny numbers compared to Otto's 500. <laughs> and whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vacher? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. i have merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Dang, you lie on your daddy's name? That's crazy. I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia, we're back! <laughs> Fine, uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Could you make a little more dramatic entrance, Paimon, please? That was a little, a little underwhelming. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? <laughs> it's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. You say you've never heard of Vache. Um, but in this notebook here, your name is mentioned as one of as one of Vache's baby's name. Why is your but name in the truth a of it, Marcel? Is that you've always been Vache? Yo! Huh? We've investigated your lair and we already know everything. After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. Oh, so there's there was no baby. This man's just this man is literally just Vache. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> you fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. For our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> the crime of being a simp? Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think... Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Pay attention to you. What for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? Brother, you dissolved people. You did the same thing that happened to her. What reason? What? what, what there is no... Uh, there is no valid reasoning to do that to other just completely innocent people. No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. 
Vinya's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. Fuck this guy. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. While turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vignier is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Mods, hey, whoa. Yo! Is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that. And in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> I mean, there is one way you could have joined her, but, um... You know, I, I won't say it. The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save Vignette. Her promise. We made a promise. Guards, snap his neck. Vignette. Vignette. Please, Vignette. Don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. <laughs> My man child just being like, thank goodness. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. <laughs> Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. Mods, burn his house down. <laughs> the man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea and was dissolved in front of Vacher as a result. Vacher learned of the Primordial Water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel, and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vaché discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Vaché decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vaché expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. Evil and man. just recently, Vaché attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Vaché's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Evil, evil man. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. <laughs> the weak ass claps. <laughs> you could have put a little bit more in there, Horvers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. The oratory and why is there a child? A verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. Why was there a child there? According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, 
Mr. Varche is guilty. See ya, buddy. Guards, take Varche away. Good. It's what he deserves. Get that ass banned. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We have Navia bring the police <laughs> to justice! <laughs> Yippee! He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? Oh, Navia. We forgot about Navia, though. Um, I'm sure this, um, isn't very good to learn about. <sighs> or could be happy. Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula's still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? <laughs> the villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to. So, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> okay, dude. Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Uh-oh. Ugh, uh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? <laughs> <laughs> Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. Man, nobody here has been respecting the laws of Fontaine. This man could leave at any time. All right, all right. But this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified. And thus, it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Hmm. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is guilty. Guilty? Of what? What? What crime did you commit? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. Of what? I mean, have you ever heard of what? an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? What the hell going on? What the fuck? <laughs> um, AI moment? <laughs> this is why we don't trust machines. Uh, what's going on? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Ah, uh, well, bye child. Guards. Please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. I'll be sure to, um, take care of two, sir, while you're gone. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. Hmm. I'll, You've uh... got your rules. Well, I've got mine, too! Well, did we expect him to go without a fight, honestly? <laughs> I wonder when Chlorine's gonna come in. He's 
Is he gonna use it? Why is he using the delusion now? I am sorry. Oh, damn! If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Damn, he slumped his ass! <laughs> Crumpled him. What? <laughs> that was one shot. What's going on? Shouldn't he have been clear already? <laughs> Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. If, if even the Chief Justice doesn't know, that we have no choice but to ask the Archon herself. Uh, Focalors? No, not Focalors. Uh, uh, Fiorina, what's going on? Uh, why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it! Uh-huh. Are you sure? I, I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! <laughs> Uh-huh. What does Lady Farina mean by that? <laughs> what did she mean by this? Little W. She says she has no idea either? But that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? Uh-oh, there goes your reputation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> My dearest citizens. Did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Oh, here she comes with that bullshit. Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. Here she goes. All right, everyone get ready for the next five minutes of just bullshit coming out of her mouth. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty she had no idea what was going on. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. Uh -huh. And, <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment! Uh-huh. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Uh-huh. Everything he's done... Not to mention the danger he poses are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> You just made that shit up on the spot. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Toodaloo! Toodaloo! And if you don't... So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? <laughs> So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? No. <laughs> no. Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. Way to pull the rug out from under her. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. Base Nublet. All right. 
Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? I don't think this is where I would think he would go to prison, though, honestly. <laughs> when you took him down. Who are you really? Tro. Hmm? I'm the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If officers of the law lack the strength and capability to enforce it, then it makes a mockery of justice. Okay. <laughs> so, so man, she said, yeah, I'm just here to uh, make sure that everyone, that we don't get mocks at the end of the day. Nah, there's some more. There's definitely more to him because he literally just one. He one shot. He one shot child. Granted, it was off guard, but still, this man completely destroyed child that was turning into his delusion form. Babysitter arc. <laughs> Weekly boss out ain't strong either. You gotta write about that. Wow, it's just like it's just like the actual game, huh? They decided to keep it realistic. They decided to keep it consistent. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! What? Traveler, hey! Traveler! What? Ah, Marcel! What are you doing over here? Stop resisting arrest! Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list! No, 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 wait! I, I just want to ask the Traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. What? Go on. I really gotta listen to a murderer? Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So, unless... You forgot to check your girlfriend's notebook, dude? Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up, you've already been convicted. Uh, I met her. Uh, really? You, you did? You're sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? Um... Something to do with my sensitivity to the Hydra element. The Fountain of Lucene? Then, then she's been so close to me all along. And I just never... Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the Traveler take me to the Fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. You can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. Are we sure about that? What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Well, depends on. No, let me not say anything. I... Hmm. Paimon agrees. Why should we give him what he wants when he's only done a ton of super terrible things? This request. Is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course. Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. Will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Humans? Why are you- why are you- wait, what? Why this man- <laughs> He just said humans in like the third person. Huh? Excuse me. Sir? Are you human? Hmm. Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I fear that- I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. In that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> your humanness is showing. <laughs> he's lived for several hundred years and set by the Melusine out front. Oh, so he's not human. I see. I thought he was human the entire time, not gonna lie. He's an alien. <laughs> oh, 
honestly, giving a giving a serial killer this kind of request honestly isn't too far fetched for like the police, considering in real life at least um, people that have done worse have definitely gotten certain things. <clears throat> Not gonna say anything, but if you know, you know. Is this the place? You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Um. Back then, I drank water from the primordial sea. It heightened my sensitivity to the hydro element. Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? Oh, in that case, Vashe. He hears it. Ah. <gasps> Yes, that's it. So you heard it too. Vinier, it's me. It's me, Vache. 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 I'm here. I'm here. Where are you, Vinier? I'm coming for you. I'm finally here for you. Hey, wait. Be careful. Hey, wait. Is he Is he about to go into the water? Vinier, is that uh you? It's me, Vache. Vinier. Vache, why did you come? Didn't I say you don't need to look for me? You, you look a lot older than I remember. How long has it been? Too long. It's been more than 20 years. I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. All this time. Only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Vinier, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Damn! <laughs> Damn! What? Uh, what are you saying? Oh, wow. If not for you, I would have finished my law degree oh. and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. Oh. If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermonia itself. Oh. Oh. If oh. not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And she would not have grown old and died alone. With nothing but the tears on her cheeks. Get his ass. It's all because of your selfishness, Vache. It's all because of you. Get his ass. You... Wait, you are not Vignier. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignier. I am the sacrifices. Every woman who died by your hand, as our bodies dissolved, our consciousnesses flowed back to the primordial sea. Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea, and we were no longer individuals. But we became one, just as streams of water come together. Ah, it's all coming back to bite his ass. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. The only one I am not is Vignier. Why? But then, where is Vignier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Damn. Every tendril of her consciousness is avoiding you. Damn. For your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? If she would despise you for what you became? Spit. Spit. I, um, I... Talk to his ass. Tell him. You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignier's beloved. Speak to him. From the moment your first victim died, and her consciousness merged with Vignier's, she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. 
<laughs> it looks like I didn't meet Vignier back then either. They must have wanted me to learn Marcel here from the very beginning. Very smart. No, Vignier, she can't hate me. Let me see her, please, have mercy. You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignier. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. She don't want your ass anymore. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. Mods, snap his neck. Vache. 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 Kill him. Drown. Later, the guards find that the culprit of the serial disappearances of a young woman case. Oh, I can't even read that fast. What the fuck? Did he drown? I couldn't even read that fast. He died. Good. Good riddance. Rip bozo. Nothing is lost. We've been able to relax. Shopping is stressful in its own way, though. <laughs> My legs are killing me. Ah, uh, smoking that Bache pack. Fuck that man. Huh. Well met, partner. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. <laughs> his, his little bow. Oh, what a gentleman. Hey, Navia! It's been a few days. Paimon's already started to miss you. Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? <sighs> it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips between Poisson and the courts in Sen. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court all attended. Nice. Ah, so his name's definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. No more lies on his name. It's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Things could have turned out as well as they could have. Oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there. And there was no way she'd just let me go. I want to see Charlotte again. Where's she at? So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steambird? Yeah. Way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness. Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. To be fair though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so, we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh yeah, she told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wish has finally come true too! Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. Uh, me maybe. Paimon, not so much. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Paimon came into the court saying, Oh my god, we're back, guys. Guys, we're back. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clarand out for a meal. Oh, are you two on better terms now? Mm, while you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clarand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her, 
I mean, there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Nice. Oh, that's great. Paimon also thought Clarend wasn't actually a bad person. It's always good to have more friends. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Oh, actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him, to this day. That includes me, too. Miss Navia. Aww. Can I come too? <laughs> okay, dude. Mm -hmm. We want to go too! We also think Callus is a really admirable person. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. And in that case, everyone, let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Yeah. It's right. raining out here, though. It's been raining nonstop for a few days now. Oh, it really has. I wonder what's going to happen in Act 3 now? Uh, hmm. This is where my father's grave is. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait. That figure. It can't be. Hmm? Huh? Isn't that Nervalette? What? Why oh. would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? Navia? Is he crying? <laughs> nah, he's good. Hmm. My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. <laughs> hmm. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nurelet. <laughs> In any case, why did you come to Poisson? Hmm. Well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice, anyway? Is that why it's been raining this entire time? There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. No, oh, rather than that, it's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, should have been nothing more important than one's own continued survival. But Mr. Callus proved me utterly and decisively wrong. Mm. If not for his sacrifice, the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callus made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. And in the end, from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. A justice that's higher than life itself. Mm. So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callus in person. I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. Ah, so that's why it's been raining all this time. He's the one that he's the one that makes it rain, huh? That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Uh, I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So, you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. 
<sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? <laughs> oh, so Navia and Nouvellet seem to have made their peace as well. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? I don't know. I didn't see it. You're not supposed to fly around someone's grave. <laughs> she couldn't just land on the ground just once. What do you mean? You can at least try it. Oh no. Paimon hopes Miss Navia won't be too mad. <laughs> she took it seriously. Anyway, Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right? True. I think it'll be a long while before we get to talk to Farina. <laughs> Disrespectful just now. Uh, what are you saying, Paimon? I don't think I get it. Well, aren't you not supposed to fly around someone's grave? Huh? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> hey, traveler! Why did you mess with Paimon again? <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't do anything. I didn't say that. What's up? Oh, it's you two. Did Miss Navia invite you to come pay your respects to her father? Mm-hmm. We ran into Navia on the streets today, so we just followed her here. I see, I see. Then is there something that I can help you with? Uh, um, well, it's pretty hard to run into you like this since you're usually super busy. So we figured we could try to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine, and it would be my pleasure to return the favor. Okay. About my sibling. I'm going to leave that for last. Uh, about water from the primordial sea. So, at court, the bad guys referred to that special water as water from the primordial sea. But, what is it really? Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. I can only surmise that Vache and his ilk only learned of its nature and existence after extensive research. There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. The nature of its seawater was rather different from that of the sea we know today. I see a Hydroculus. Most of Tevat's life forms were first born in that special sea. You could say it nurtured much of the life on this planet. Mm -hmm. Huh. So it really was where everything began. It makes sense to call it Primordial, then. But today, the Primordial Sea no longer exists on the planet's surface. What happened? What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special case, or a remnant from a truly ancient age. Huh. So that's how it is. Oh, you really know everything, Monsieur Nouvellet. But if that's the case, then why would people... Uh, at least people from Fontaine dissolve in that kind of water? Indeed, why would the primordial sea, which was known to engender and nurture life, suddenly reverse itself and devour life instead? Hmm. To be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must still be some unknown secrets around the people of this land. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Maybe because it's... Maybe because since the original primordial sea disappeared, maybe this case... Or this instance of the Primordial Sea is like some sort of opposite of the Primordial Sea. And that's why it's, it still remains. Something like that, I guess. I don't know. Because if the original Primordial Sea is gone, the one that nurtures life, then what about... Then I guess <laughs> it's time for the one that, that <laughs> reduces life to just come around. I, I don't know. 
about the pro about the prophecy that has been circulating around Fontaine. Maybe the prophecy has been corrupted. Yeah, it's probably been corrupted, or there was at least one form of the primordial sea that existed, as well as the original primordial sea. Like both, like both of them existed at the same time, but the original primordial sea, the one that gives life, just disappeared, and the other one remained at all this time. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the permanent sea is like is like cells they want to expand by devouring things. Hmm. The people of ancient Fontaine commit a sin against the primordial one, like the people of Enconomia. Not sure. They, you're right. They did commit a sin, and that's why they're all born with sin. But they haven't explained what that sin is yet. So I guess we'll have to figure out. Uh, about the prophecy that has been circulating around Fontaine. That the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone on her throne, but the sins of the people will be finally washed away for good. Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? That's right! It was Linny that told us back then. And that about covers all the main points. Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon left to the world before she passed away. Mm. A prophecy? Of the former Hydro Archon? Wow. This is the first time that we've ever heard of it. Two parts of the prophecy have already proven correct. The rising sea levels and the ability of the people of Fontaine to be dissolved. We should be more vigilant and stay on the watch for further signs. Mm. Speaking of the prophecy, Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Indeed, she has been collecting information and intelligence from across Tevat for this purpose. If the rumors were true, then perhaps this prophecy is the conundrum left to Farina by her predecessor. But with Farina being the way she is, can we really trust her to solve it? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Who killed the people? Who killed the Hydro Archon people in Conria? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Because. Let me think. If Nahida is the youngest Archon, and. When did. Um. When did the original Dendro Archon die again? What event did she die during? Did she die in the Archon War? That's what I'm thinking. Either the Archon War or the Cataclysm. She died during... Uh, died in the Urmazel during the Cataclysm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... She died in the Cataclysm? Okay, so... Maybe... I think maybe she might have died during the Archon War is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure, though. Maybe the um, original Hydro Archon died in the Archon War is what I'm thinking right now. Isn't the Hydro Archon the youngest? Is she the youngest? I thought it was Nahida that was the youngest. Yeah, Nahida is the youngest. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I, that's what I'm thinking for now is that the original Hydro Archon died during the Cataclysm. I'm mean, not the Cataclysm, uh, the Archon War. Hydro Archon sacrificed himself and became the Muta Pool during the Cataclysm. Oh. Is that lore that I don't even know? Man, I really need to read the lore. Holy shit. I need to read these books that are in the game or some shit. In the world quest? And it's a it's in a world quest? Damn, I do not pay attention. Holy shit. I'm, I'm not paying attention. Uh, about child. My apologies. My investigation has still not reached its conclusion. However, 
I still believe the judgment of the Oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. Huh? But you also said you thought he was innocent. For many years, I have been quite aware that the Oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat the verdict that I give on each case. As a divinely created mechanism, the people's unified faith in the concept of justice is integrated into it. Not only can it produce the incredible power of indemnitium, but it likely also possesses other traits, such as self-awareness. Uh-oh. Which is all to say, I have been prepared for a situation like this for a long time. So what you're saying, there's about to be a robot, there's about to be a robot revolution, is what you're telling me right now. Huh. So when Lenny told us that he heard a human voice from the room where the Oratrice's core is stored... I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove my conjecture. Huh. We'll add that to the list of items to investigate. Huh. The Oratrix is becoming self-aware and alive. It's gaining a consciousness. Oh. In any case, I mm. am inclined to believe that the Oratrix does have a methodology all its own. We just do not have enough information. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. She managed to bluff her way through it, though. The time tested twin tricks of bravado and drama. <laughs> yeah. While we do intend to get to the bottom of this, classic for now, Furina. I regret to say that the Fatui Harbinger will just have to bide his time in the fortress of Meripede. If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, we will most certainly compensate him to the fullest extent allowed by the law. <laughs> if you ask Paimon, the only compensation he'll want is a no holds barred fight with you. True. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? This man will be this man is gonna be pissed when he gets released. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. Oh god. Um alright, well here's the question. About my sibling. Your sibling? Another blonde-haired traveler. I'm sorry, but I've never seen anyone who matches that description. Damn it! If she ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure she followed our laws to the letter and had no reason to appear on the stage of the opera Epicles. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Really? God damn it! <laughs> we're never getting any- we're never gonna find her. We're not finding jack shit in these nations, bruh. We're not finding shit, man. I have no more questions. Very well. It was my honor to provide you with what answers I could. I very much enjoyed conversing with you. It will soon be time for me to leave this blissful tranquility behind and return to Palais Memonia. You really are super busy, Monsieur Nervalette. Paimon thought you only came here to pay your respects today because you had the day off. Crime and villainy do not have the day off, and so justice must work around the clock as well. This is merely the nature of a justice's work. <laughs> all right, all right, you've got a point. Huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm, might have something to do with the little uh, guy next to us. Yeah, this man controls the rain. Remember the rain. Cool. So two energy. Ah. All right. Well, that's the Argon quest. How did y'all feel about that? Now for the real gameplay. Like my inventory? What? What is that? Oh yeah, I still have his vision. <laughs> I took his fucking vision too. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yoink. Bro is on an island without a vision too. Crazy. Thanks. Revision.
Shout out God Scream was his absolute win. Time to farm on the Hydroculus. Yeah, I have to do all that. I gotta get all the waypoints and stuff first. I have I don't have this one over here. I don't even have like all the teleports as well. I haven't fought the new bosses yet. Uh there's most likely world quest to do. Oh yeah, this is world quest to do as well. It's a lot to do. Not a leak, but I personally think his his power, the whale, has something to do with the primordial sea. Probably. They're speaking about his powers like it's something big, for sure. There's three main world quests. Damn. Is this the end of child? Um. Depends on if we could prove his innocence or not, I guess. I don't know what he's being convicted of. So, it's it's tough to say. Tough to say. I don't I don't think he'll I don't think this is the end for him, but What am I gonna pull for in Fontaine? Um, uh, Rius Le and and uh, what was it? Uh, what was the name? Chlorine. That's who I'm planning on for now. For now. They didn't say we accused him in the first place? Yeah, they didn't. He was accused by someone, and that's what I was wondering, like... That's what I was kind of wondering, like, who actually accused him of this crime? You're saving up for free arena? Already got 10k, Primo saved up. Nice. Offering. How many do I have for uh, Wheel Slayer? Let's see. I have 23... 23,635. Okay, wait. I have to calculate how many Primo gems um, I got from the, the, uh, the, the welcome now. Wait, let me see. Uh, it's 90 primo gems for, per day. So it'd be like 90 times 60. 50, f no, 5,400. So. <gasps> 23, 65 minus 5,400. 18,235 primo gems. That's how much I have saved. So. I guess I gotta start grinding. Oh, hey, look, it's the little droplets. Oh, we know they're evil now. Why are these ones evil? What happened to the friendly ones? At least good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. You know how strong the mobs are? I want to challenge them. Anyway, they're not that bad, surely. Oh, also, I should try to get the, um, what was it? Yeah, it was this. Is this the, um, oh no, that's not it. Where is the...
What about the um, the commissions? How do I get those? Because I want to do those before next week. The daily quest? No, I mean like the um, what were they called? Like the weeklies. It's right above this. On the left, yeah, the reputation I meant, the reputation. My brain farted, sorry. Left of the food? Uh, like over here? At Hotel uh, De Board? Triangle icon. Triangle icon. This oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it now. I couldn't. I, I could barely see it. My eyes are going bad. <laughs> Hello. Truly spectacular weather today. No. Yes, truly quite comfortable. Well, the weather was it's cooperative every workday. I should be. I should be quite merry indeed. And speaking of work, my dear, are you... You are here to interview for the troubleshooter position advertised in our Tales of Humanity section, are you not? Uh, I am. Act the part, guys. Uh, excellent. You didn't ask any questions about the title troubleshooter, and thus it can be surmised that Ethan's word choice, while eccentric, is, simply, is simple and easy to understand. Putting that aside for the moment, would you like to know how I was able to correctly ascertain that you were here for the job and not seeking to ask for help in our Tales of Humanity section? Um, observation. Every citizen who comes to the Steambird seeking help appears anxious and jittery, but you, your steps are relaxed and your expression calm. Those who are fortunate are all the same. Those who fall victim to misfortune all have their woes. But you needn't worry. Those who seek assistance from others via Tales of Humanity haven't run into any serious trouble, so it shouldn't be hard to handle. Have a look at this batch of commissions. Uh. Okay. Damn, I gotta do quests. Ooh, a dish. Steak tartare. Steak ta ta. The wings, though, they look. They're pretty. Oh wait, they're like double sided. You see, they're like two different colors. This one's black. This one's white. Huh. Cool. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to speed run through some of the uh, the world quests so I can get um, so I can get the commissions before before uh, the week is <laughs> the week is up. Every single time commissions have opened for a new region, I'm I'm always delayed by like a week or two because I don't do the world quest. <laughs> Not this time. I'm staying on top of it. Steam bird. Bird. God, I love the music in this region so much. It's so good. I think I'm just a sucker for jazz. You like jazz? Is Archon Quest done now? Yeah, it is. 
Archon quest is finished. Wait, let's go talk to Catherine, actually. Where's, where's Catherine? Um, over here. Well, I gotta walk all the way there, actually. Actually, no. Over here first. Wait, it's right there? Wait, is this the closest Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> Why is the Adventurer's Guild getting closer and closer? <laughs> Each region. <laughs> is this the closest Adventurer's Guild next to a teleport now? It's literally right there. <laughs> huh. Catherine again. This one must be a puppet too. Perhaps. Is there something I can help you with? Are you looking to take on a commission or send one out? I'm just taking a look. I see. If you've run into any guild related issues, you can come and ask me. I will provide the utmost service for you and answer all answerable questions. Then we thank you for your contributions to the guild adventurer. Add Astra Abyssos. Ad Astra Abyssosk. We meet again, Catherine. The pleasure is mine. Ad Astra Ab Are you a clockwork pup? Are you also a clockwork puppet, Catherine? I wonder. Do I appear like a masterpiece of La Fontaine Research Institute to some? Maybe. Am I building Hydro Traveler? I should, um, just for the, like the one time. He uses HP, right? So I do have a shit ton of like a lot of Millilith. I don't think I need a four-piece Millilith, though. So what... what... What is good on Hydro Traveler? Mm -mm -mm. Do we have an HP sword, actually? Let's see. Nope, not a four star at least. You put the Nymph's dream on him. Too hard, too hard of death, too Millilith? What does hard of death do? Does it also give HP? Let me see. Uh. Uh, two piece heart of death. Pretty sure, yeah, it's this one. Oh yeah, the hydro damage bonus. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. What do I mean is is hard to mill with again? Let me see. Um. I think it's I think it's Inazuma, right? No, that's not it. No. No. Where is Heart of Millilith? No. Dragon Spine? 
Oh. Hmm. So you could farm um, Blizzard's chair as long as Heart of, along with Heart of Death too, which is cool. But there is one. I am farming this. <laughs> I'm going to be farming this domain instead because, um, well, you know, you know, but for a certain someone, that's all I'm going to say. And there's a new event too. Relic Records, creation of the Hydro Nation. How about we try this out? Let's try Linny. Is the new uh, Strongbuck artifacts? Oh yeah, they are. Sorry, what is this? When Lenny performs an aim shot, he can fire a, off a prop arrow at a charge at charge level two. Some HP to obtain prop surplus stacks. When a prop arrow hits, it will summon a grin Malik hat, uh, a Malkin hat that can taunt nearby enemies and deal damage when it leaves the field. Uh huh. Elemental Skull consumes a prop surplus stacks to deal AoE pyro damage according to the number of stacks cleared and regenerate Lenny's HP. If a Grim Malkin hat is on the field when his Elemental Skull is cast, the Grim Malkin will explode. If a casting is burst, Lenny will turn into a Grim Malkin cat uh, and move around the battlefield, dealing damage to opponents nearby. When the duration ends, Lenny will summon a Grim Malkin hat. Okay. So, okay, I think I see. So basically, you shoot this off. You have to shoot it. You have to shoot at level two to get uh, the stacks, and then you can press E to do damage. To consume your stacks. I see. I'm going in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here comes the finale. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Teamwork is dream work. Let's light it. Now disappear. Let's get this show on the road. He's doing pretty Stick decent damage even without uh And voila. He's doing pretty decent damage without the uh <laughs> Without Bennett, though, what the fuck? Why well, wish for Linny if you have Amber? True. Yaylon. She's such a good unit. Dodge this. Busted. Here comes the catch. Surrender and be gentle. Yeah, 
Yo, on Sko stands among the most fun in the game. Yeah, they kind of made they made a banger when when they were cooking her up. They came up with a banger for her character. And her kit. Actually, wait, I didn't read her kit. Hold on. Oh wait, I didn't read her kit. Shit. No rest for the wicked. Rain outlines your fate. Let me leave you a bird. What, wait, what was that? Oh, I gotta read her kid again. I don't even know what I'm doing. Over here. Witness the power of Huh? Wings of darkness. Hey, out of the frying pan. Okay, so what is her old do? I need to see it. What that does? Wait a minute, hold on. I didn't mean to exit. Fuck. Fuck. Song request. Hold on, I'll give you a sec. Uh, let me turn down the music real quick. I gotta remember I kept it on eight volume, the perfect volume for the music. Okay. Oh, wait, let me see. Let me see. Let's try her again, actually. So, her elemental skill allows her to execute an Enigma thrust, dealing animal damage. When the skill is held, Lynette will enter a high speed pilfering shadow state and unleash her Enigma thrust when the state ends. Huh. By using her elemental burst, Lynette will summon a Boggle Cat box that can taunt and attack nearby opponents. When the Boggle Cat box comes into contact with certain elements, it will change colors and fire vivid shots that deal damage from the corresponding element. Oh. Rain outlines your fate. No, my sword. Rain cutter. Let the magic begin. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Surprise. So it's like a little swirl box, I see. I see. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't mean to open this up. Uh... Huh. Okay, before I do any of that... Bennett! You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. You're toast! Oh. Everybody stand back! Let's light Just pretend up. I didn't use uh San Linzo before Bennett. Pretend I didn't do that. Witness the power of No, my sword! 
rain outlines your fate. Let's light it up! Teamwork is dreamwork! Turn down the sound of the game. I I still haven't seen the Barbie movie. Nor have I seen Oppenheimer. I really should. I really should see them, shouldn't I? But I gotta work. I gotta I gotta make videos. I gotta do all this stuff. Like huh. Holy, holy achievements. Barbie is such a fun movie. I've heard it's really good. I do want to see it. Excuse me. Am I gonna do the Archon quest? <laughs> Somebody tell him. More speed. I have already finished the Archon quest, so. But uh, fortunately, I will be um getting started on the video so I can get started on the video Beg for mercy what the hell where the hell is that I'm just smacking them with the water. Boink. See ya. Oh yeah, don't I need to farm these? Don't I, don't I need to like farm these dudes? Oh yeah, I do. For Hydro Traveler. Shit. They seem to have pretty good drop rates, though. Me. The underwater attacking mechanics are so confusing. For some reason I feel like this sh this should do more than just this, you know? Cause it's just like it's just is like going in and out of hitting this thing. I know there's um there's the slash, but the normal attack is just so I'm just hitting them with the whip. I'm literally whipping crabs right now.
We. The normal attack is like the secondary. You always have another power. True. Ah, there you are. Give me you. Smack. Ah. The one these crabs gives is busted. Seem pretty good. I'm swimming. Aww. Look at the seals. Wait, look. Oh, you're so cute. Wait a minute, look. Wait, 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 wait. He's even got a baby. Wait a minute. Yo. It's so cute. Aw. Kill them? <laughs> and what are they gonna give me, huh? What will I gain from killing them? It's so cute. Oh, look at him. XP? <laughs> okay, dude. You said hold it and tank a hit while charging to deal extra damage. Oh. Wee. What the hell is that one doing? Are they sleeping? <laughs> Aww. I just chill it. Aww, that's so cute. Aww. Okay, let, let me try and take damage from them so I can do like this thing. Come on. They <laughs> just. They're just staring. <laughs> Hello? They don't even attack! I've just been killing defenseless animals this entire time. <laughs> They're so scared! I feel bad now. What mail did I get? This is mail. New recipe rewards. Ooh. Thank you for your love for Tibet specialty cuisine. Here are two new recipes for you. Fruity duet and fruity smoothie. Ooh, fruit smoothies. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to fucking work out today. Shouldn't take too long. I'll explore a little bit. Me. Workout on stream? That'd be the most embarrassing thing ever. Wait. The, uh... Dendroculus somewhere. I mean, not <laughs> Dendroculus. Hydroculus. I should use a traveler. So I could, like... Here, watch this. What? Nah. Hold on, let me try that again. And... Whew. Okay, that didn't work. Whatever. 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 
What time zone am I? Um, I'm in Pacific, I think now, since I'm in Vegas. There's another one over here. Too much. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> The water sounds while I'm swimming is are so calming. Yeah, they are. Very, very calming. And the music is really nice. It's a very chill experience. It's definitely not as, like... Uh, cutthroat as Bombs as away. Inazuma. Dodge this. Oh, so sorry. Did I get my head out of Japan time? Um. Well, I was doing well for a little while, but. <laughs> Uh, cause, uh, well, since I moved from Florida and I was sleeping at like 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. there, and technically, when I moved here, it's like 12 a.m. if it's 3 p.m. in Florida. So technically, I fixed my sleep schedule for a little bit, but now I'm starting to slip back into it again, sadly. So... What the? <laughs> what is going on over there? Missed a few chapters. Where'd I move? Move to Vegas. Hello. Hello. I'm Emu Otori. Emu is meaning smile. Want to fix your sleep schedule? Just move to the time zone. True, that's what I did. Slay, you don't know anything about Vegas? Vegas is chill. I like it here. What the fuck? Oh, it's this thing. Why don't we why don't we try this boss on stream? Why not? Why not? Ow, my stomach's hurting. What the hell? Ow! Dang! Right out the ground? Holy. He was not playing around. Okay. Isn't it like 50 gagillion degrees here? It is very hot here, yes. It's like 100 degrees every single day. But it's still nicer than Florida weather. Freeze. 
And I'm not kidding when I say this. I, I like this weather better than Florida. And from what I've heard from the locals is that apparently it does get it does get cold here during fall and winter, so I'm interested to see what that's like. What kinda what kind of winter winter temperatures they got going on. Am I even doing this boss correctly? Shouldn't it? What am I supposed to do about this thing? Wait, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Is it with this? No. How do I take down the bar above this? I don't know how to take down the bar above this. Thank you for the raid, Zyox! Wait, hold on, I don't even have my, uh... Wait, I need to turn on... Let me switch my scene. And there we go. Thank you, Zyox, for the raid! I made a very nice stream, thank you! Welcome, raiders! Freeze. Lemon! Yeah. This ult sucks so much. Up a little. Travelers burst is so bad. Thoughts on that? Like, look at this. What is that? What is that? She just went right through him. What does it even do? Nothing. It just goes straight through someone. It gives us absolutely nothing. Cool. Let's go back up. Ow, the water's hot. Continuous hydro damage. <laughs> That's about it. Hydro application copium. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about it. Surely it'll be better once I get a proper build for him and artifacts, right? Surely it'll be better. No, I missed one. I missed one. Wait, no, go back. Go back. Go back. Surely. Wee. Swimming mechanic is so fun. So relaxing, too. Uh, where's the chest? Where's the chest? Hello, me stupid? Hello? Down here? Hello, me stupid? Where? Oh, it is down here, okay. You've almost 100%ed Fontaine, huh? Listen to me. Are you okay? Do you need help?
No, to which, <laughs> to which question? Ooh, hold on. There's a uh, Adraculus over here. You're fine. Okay. Why is it paint? Albedo! Get over here. What is this? It's a puzzle? Oh lord. I'm not doing that. No thank you. I'm too busy looking at fish. I want to look at fishies. Yeah, someone said to, for me to get hit. Alright, hit me. Hit me. Hit me, damn it. There we go. Holy. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. There we go. Boink. That did not do much. Try the E with Yo Emia? I don't have Yo Emia. Sorry. I do not have Yo Emia. You can't even you can't even jump out the water with Kaya. This sucks. Zero out of ten region. Only with the Traveler and all the other Fontaine characters. SMH. Shaking my head. Bro pronounces it like it's a disease? <laughs> what do you mean? Yomia? How do you pronounce Yomia? Oh god. That's how I've always pronounced it. Nobody nobody told me anything about that. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. Am I planning to use Lynette? Um Maybe I could use her on a friendship team once um once my other one is finished. I'm using this as a friendship team right now, but I don't know. I don't know how how decent you'll me. I mean, not you me, but Lynette is right now. Hey guys, I came back from the doctor and they told me I got Yoemia. Oh my. Sir. I'm afraid we have unfortunate news. You have been diagnosed with your emia. Okay. I have no HP. You know what? Let me uh let me go cook. I need to cook. I don't have any food. Do I have Lenny? No, I don't have Lenny. I don't know if I want to wish for on the current banners right now. Cause um, I'm not really that interested in Lenny, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But, I am sort of interested in Yelon, as well as the Weapon Banner. Because I've heard that the Weapon Banner is pretty busted right now. And Yelon is a very, very good meta, meta unit. But... I do have people I'm saving for, however, so using my primo gems on 
on a banner. Using my primo jumps on a banner now would not be the smartest of ideas. So I don't know. What am I saving for? Uh, uh, Corinne and Re Real Slit. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna embarrass myself saying these names all the time. I think it's Real, Real Slit. Real Slit. Like your dude. I'll just call him Rio. Rizzly? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm I'm um I'm saving for those two right now. Those two interest me the most. What about Alekana? Um Maybe. Maybe. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I don't know how she's going to be. And because I'm I'm not really that interested into her. She has a cool design, but I'm not too sure yet. If Fiorina is good, maybe I'll consider wishing on her as well. But that all depends on, you know, if they want to make her a good Archon. Which I'm sure they will. They always make the Archons good. Right? What about Nouvellet? Um, I don't know. He is pretty cool. Oh, huh, maybe. Blue Chongli. Blue Chongli. Chongli. I think it's the best design. And Fontaine. And Fontaine, hard to choose. Because I have we haven't seen everyone yet. But... Mm, don't know. I don't know. I think Nuvlet is is really cool to look at personally. Ooh, chest. I also, for some reason, really like Clorin's design as well. Her design is also very um, striking for some reason. Steak Tartar. It's a fruity smoothie. Wait, is it? Wait, is this a new? Wait. Is this a new? No, it's only a freaking. No, it's only a revive one. No. Aw. Has anyone has anyone found like the uh, a new recipe for the for like uh HP restore, you know? I'm still trying to find another another good like <laughs> another good recovery dish that isn't the sweet matam. I like an or, or chlorine. Uh Oof, hard choice. <laughs> Why put two queens against each other when you could have both? Why why make the woman fight when they're both just as great? Do I have Genshin drops available? No, I don't think so. Actually, do I? I don't even know if I have drops available. <laughs> I don't even know. Why do I have so much milk? Am I okay? What? Never have enough milk. I 
Actually, how many... Oh my god, I have so many sweet flowers. Jesus Christ. It's been a while since I've farmed. <laughs> since I've actually used sweet madams. Holy shit. Milk drinkers, giga chad. True. So for the for the raiders, for the raiders that have come in, has anyone played through the story yet? Because I uh, just finished all the acts that have come out so far for it. No, no, only on, on Act T, only ended Act One. I finished it, but maybe I should wait like a, a little bit before I. You know, post spoilers about it on t on my Twitter. <laughs> Song request. Hey Doja. Hey, 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 hey bits. Another Barbie song. Hold oh, on. What are people's thoughts on the Melusines? I think they're interesting. We don't really know much about them, but they're kind of cute. It just kind of came out of nowhere, though. Do the Melusine world quest? Is it this one? I don't know what world quests there are for the Melusines. How, is, how long is the quest without skipping dialogues? Well... Yesterday, I streamed for like six hours, and the recording for was for like six hours, and um, I think it took me around three hours to beat Act Two. So for me, Act One was six hours, and it took me three hours for Act Two today. But that's that's like not accounting for like the amount of times I like talk and you know have to take a break and everything. Act 1 was like 5 hours, yeah. I would say like, maybe like take away an hour off of that, it's like 5 hours long. So maybe like 7 hours for both. Act 1 and Act 2. In total. Not as long as Sumeru? Yeah, Sumeru was very long. This one uh, was a lot shorter, but it was still very, very good. I will say no spoilers yet, but it was a very, very good quest. I would say it kept me engaged like the entire time. That's how good it was. I really liked the pacing of the story and a lot of the, the different, like the different, I guess, how would you say it? style of the storytelling or like the direction they went with this Archon quest? I like I like it. I like it. A lot. Sumeru quest was amazing, hard to top. Yeah, it's hard to top Sumeru's quest, but I think Fontaine has a very strong start though. I think Fontaine is on a very, very strong start, so I don't know. Sumeru could be a dethroned if they keep this up have to see though <laughs> the via best girl yeah she's she's really cool I've already done a craft a weapon already. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Did I have it? I don't know.
The end of Act 1 had you scratching your head. It was like you were going insane for real. No, shit. Unlucky. Whole quest isn't out yet, though? Yeah, no. I mean, Act 1 and Act 2 are literally just the beginning, so... Not delicious skill issue. Man. It's because you guys distracted me. You, you it's, it's your fault. All of you guys distracted me. And I missed my mark. SMH. I'm going to use the fruit smoothie. My thing now. Delicious fruity smoothie. I've checked out the long world quest. Not yet. I think I might do them um, later on because I don't have enough time to like do them today. I don't think. You know what I should do? I should get all the waypoints on the map. <laughs> or at least get get the, get this last statue of the seven. That's what I should do. Drink water. Can we see my ether build? Um, this is what I use on Denjo Traveler. Bony sword. Four piece noblesse. And um, his talents are like, uh, I think I think his ult is crowned on Dendro Traveler. So, that's what I use for Dendro Traveler, which is pretty much my main now. My main element for Traveler. Where is the Mayor Javari? I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm ke I keep on forgetting, I need to cook some food. I need to cook some recovery food. I'm like legitimately, I keep walking away and forgetting it. What recovery food is there? Can we like sort this based on region? No? Okay, well. Worth a shot. Uh, where can I find the, um, where can I find the, the local specialty for recovery dish? Because Sumer had pita pockets. Don't know what. Don't know what Fontaine has. I think I'll just do it. Eh, do I want to do Sweet Madams? Nah, no, it just makes it a little more. Go around the shops and buy all the recipes. Hmm. Ah, is this the recovery dish? Two star. Oh, I know, but this is only the regener- the, the regenerating one. Fanta! The Fanta! <laughs> this is just Fanta Soda. Is, wait, is this not even like... It's Fanta. Where is it? You just get Fanta soda. I don't think it even gives you anything. It's li you just buy it. <laughs> How much does Fanta recover? I don't even know. It doesn't say. Okay, so there was the, the, what was it? 
this one. It requires sugar? Man. Hmm. Screw that sugar. Let's go look at the other shops. Why can't we make pilk? Because you'd be charged with a crime. You're sentenced to death in Fontaine for doing that. That's why. Oh, hey. I accidentally ran into a world quest. Cool. Have I tried pilk? No, but it sounds disgusting. Every time I think about it, it sounds gross. Is it pink milk? Uh, no. Um, it's... I'm pretty sure it's Pepsi and milk, right? Blink. That sounds gross? It does. Who would even... Who would even, like... Think of putting that together? That's the shit that elementary school kids will, like, will, like do on their lunch trays. They just take a- they just take a can of Pepsi and then pour it on their lunch tray and then pour the milk on their lunch tray and then mix it all together with like the mashed potatoes and the fucking gross ass chicken and the peas and shit. And just leave it there for the janitor to clean up. That's what it gives me. Oddly specific. What y'all y'all never done that before? Have I tried sparkling Yakult? No. I know Yakult is pretty good though. I've tried it. It is really good. I'm speed reading. When milk spoils, it becomes acidic and soda water adds vicidity and... Bleh. How many subs to try Pilk? Um... Um, I don't know. Maybe like... Fifteen gift subs, I guess. I don't know. Not really, not really worth that much. Please don't try spoiled milk. Yeah, don't do that. Spoiled milk low key becomes cheese. I'm gonna make me puke. Yum. Speaking of puke, uh, if you're if you're uh, if you if you don't like hearing stories about puke, you should probably press that mute button right now. But uh, speaking of speaking of puke, uh, a couple days ago when I when I worked out at uh, at uh, my what was it at my apartment's like gym, like their like their uh, exercise area. I was working out for like the first time, like I actually doing a serious workout 
and it was going well and out but i was just like super tired and super fatigued and by the time i was done with it i was like dead so when i was walking back home i felt like i was going to die but i was like okay maybe i'm just super fatigued there's like i mean maybe i'll just like make myself a a, a smoothie bowl and i'll be just fine so i get inside and I start to get my ingredients out from my smoothie bowl. And as I'm getting the ingredients, my body just starts to like shut down. And I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? Like I'm literally like aching. My stomach is like trying to, it feels like it's being stabbed. I'm like crouching over and I can barely move my arms. And I'm like starting to get dizzy and shit. So I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? So I like, I like take breaks every like couple seconds in between me getting ingredients for my uh, smoothie bowl. And I like go to go to sit down just so I could like, you know, recover just a little bit. And this like happens for like a good five minutes. I just like get up, I get up, go to get, put some ingredients on the table. And then I get, and then I get dizzy and achy and then i sit back down and rinse and repeat over and over again until finally when i get all the ingredients on the table and i start making my smoothie bowl i put that in the blender and you know i start making it and i can just feel my stomach just killing me and then i start to get super super dizzy and i'm just like oh no there's no way there is absolutely no way this is about to happen so i go to sit down and this time sitting down doesn't do anything for me. I still feel I still feel like ass, and, I'm, and it's just like I you I could feel what's about to happen. So I stand up, and I could immediately feel my body tell me, "Bro, go to the bathroom right now." <laughs> like it was just scream. My my stomach was just screaming at me to go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom and I, I, I crouch down at the toilet and it takes me like a good 30 seconds, but you know, all the effects of when you're about to throw up happen. Like I could feel my saliva start to come up. I'm really dizzy. My stomach hurts and shit. And after about, after those 30 seconds, I just fucking projectile vomit into the fucking toilet, dude. Yeah, I, I was dry heaving. I, I started dry heaving and then I just fucking projectile vomited everything I ate. Which actually wasn't even that much. <laughs> I literally just ate like... All I literally ate that day was probably like... A Hot Pocket and like a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> and that was like hours. Several hours before I started working out. And then right after that, I felt good again. And I ate my smoothie bowl. But I really don't know why. I, the, the thing is, is about all that is that I don't know why I threw up. Like, I know for a fact I didn't eat that much during that day. Which could be, which could very well be a contributing factor to it. But maybe I worked out too hard? I don't know. Cause like, I've never... Actually, no, I have thrown up after working out that hard before. I've actually thrown up a couple of times after working out too hard accidentally. I think I have to be really careful when I work out because for some reason, my body is not very, very receptive to me working out or, or doing like intense workouts. Cause I remember a couple times when I was like a kid where, um, where I would puke after doing some like intense activity. Like I remember I ended up puking on while I was golfing once. Cause it was super hot that day and I did not get that much stuff, like food in my body. All I had was pretty much a Gatorade. And when I got to like one of the holes on the golf course, 
I just started throwing up fucking blue Gatorade on the grass. And after that, I didn't play golf ever again, by the way. After that, I, I literally did not... I've never played golf since that day. Not even kidding. Is this... An answer from this world? Besides mini golf, that doesn't count. Did I start exercising from zero to hundred? No warm up. No, I warmed up beforehand. It wasn't anything like too serious either. It's not like I was lifting heavy weights or anything. Like all I did was like stuff that you could consider like calisthenics. Like I was doing push ups. I was doing like push ups. I was doing some some uh fucking. Squats, uh, dips. I did. I did use um like ten pound barbells, or, or dumbbells rather, for bicep curls. But that's really about it, honestly. I didn't really uh do anything intense. Your body rejecting the food like. We'll slow down, take it easy. Maybe. I've been working out consistently before that day? No, actually. I didn't. That was like. I did work out a little bit. Like. Two days prior to it. But before then, it wasn't anything like too. Like, I, 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 I haven't worked out in like. Over a year. Probably. So. Because I'm trying to get back into working out again. Fascinating. You get you pretty often get searing pain if you do aggressive exercises too quick. Hmm. That's the thing though, is that I was I didn't feel any pain when I was doing those exercises. Like I'm sore as fuck right now. Like I, I'm really sore. <laughs> Like, even after about, like, two days of rest, like, I'm still super sore. But I still probably have to work out after this. At least do something. But nothing that I did was too intense for me to just literally throw up everything that I had in my body. Chow is Hydro? Yep. Water jet! Traveler does use Hydro. How fortunate. Okay, let me go. I've been like sidetracking this entire time. Let me go get this statue of the seven. <laughs> like real quick. I don't know what language you typed in Rampo, but I do not understand that. Sorry. You're gonna have to type it in English. Sorry. This is probably breakable, isn't it? Give me that. Aha! I'm smart. Did you prematurely die? Am I just be after you're done with burpees? I fucking hate burpees. They suck. Fuck burpees. I feel something like uh, when snakes throw up, what they ate to have energy to run away since digestion needs a lot of energy. Maybe. Huh. 
I don't know. It was just a weird experience, but... We no longer drown? I think that's only in a uh, Fontaine. Yeah, you don't drown. No more drowning. We learned to swim. The traveler finally took some swimming clots. What is that? Let me just... What is this? Condescence crystal? What the? Condescence crystal. Is this like the crystal chunks? Craftable weapons? Uh. Wasn't it mentioned that he has gills now? Yeah, I think he just grows gills. <laughs> he just grew gills when he uh, resonated with uh, with the uh, the statue. So uh, he's a fish. The Traveler is now a human fish hybrid. There's another war quest. There we go. Now I got the map. So there's a war quest here. There's a war quest over there. What was the last one though? Someone said there was three. Oh, I wonder if I could blow them up with my... Wait, hold on. Can this reach? No! There's all... That's so dumb. Wow. You can't even reach it with Hydro Traveler? Man, I'll keep this close. You wish it had a range. Me too. Man, this kid is seem looks like ass. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I think um, I think this traveler might be a uh, bottom two, bottom two traveler elements. Gets bottom animal gets carried by VV. True. Geo has an okay buff. Electro gives at least some energy recharge. Why do I play with the starter team? I don't know, because it's fun. It's fun to just walk around with the starter team sometimes when you're exploring a new area. You know? Reminds me of the good old days of exploring areas. The starter team. For the first time. <laughs> Water gun fun though. I mean. Kind of true. Bombs away. This moment will be frozen in time. 
Let's spark things up. Water jet! Water's hot. Dendro's kind of clunky. I think Dendro is a little bit clunky, but it's still it still makes up for it with how much damage you do and how much synergy it has with, with practically the entire roster of characters. Except for, you know, Geo and Hydro. I mean, not Hydro, uh, Geo and Cryo, rather. What are you? Freeze. What even are you? What do they be coming up with in that studio? They just be coming up with anything. Where am I even at? I don't even know where I'm at. Atoms? I don't know. Whatever they are. Kind of freaky. Looks like I'm missing texture. What characters look interesting to me? Um, uh, Clorin and... Ruslay. Clorin and Ruslay are the ones I'm gunning for right now. Ones I'm saving up for. But I still do have to decide if I want to wish on these current banners. Because Yelon is pretty good and the weapon banner is pretty good. So I don't know. I really shouldn't because I know... Um, I think... I think Ryusle should be coming soon, right? He was drip marketed correctly. I think, oh, correct? Let me see. He was drip marketed, right? Was he or was he not? Both Risley and Nuvulet? Yeah. So, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not the smartest idea to wish on the banner. <laughs> but, you know, who knows? Maybe I could get lucky. Maybe I could get Yelon in, like, 20 pulls. And then get her weapon in, like, 30. Or any 5-star bow on this. 30. Hmm. Copium? No, Linny? Uh, no, I'm not really interested in Linny right now, sadly. Not really interested in him. I'm not too interested in him. New video, the Yelon pull incident. God. That video, that video makes me so sad. So many Primo gems, man. Oh, for Kazuha. Let me guess, I'm gonna skip Fiorina 1000%. Depends on if she's a good uh, kit, I think. If she ends up being very good, I might consider it. You know, speaking of which, how's my tweet doing? How's my tweet doing? How many quote retweets am I at on that? 2,500? Light work. Light work.
Buh. Pull Yelon and keep her leveled <laughs> to give Ganyu company. <laughs> Put her on the bench with, with Ganyu. Did I finish the story? Yeah, I finished the Archon quest already. What is this Twitter? Is it like X? Okay, dude. That tweet Discord is wild. Oh, hey, Dish. What's up? Thank you for the raid, Dish. I made a very nice stream. Thank you. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you had a very, very nice stream. What's the hurry? I was I was just about to talk about the 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 discourse that went on on my account on Twitter. It was so coincidental. You were just playing Genshin, and one of the lines you choose to say is, hmm, "What's that smell?" And as you looked back at my stream, I was just dying over the stinky smell. Stinky. How was your stream, Dish? Was it good? Genshin Twitter dies of cringe. Yeah, it was very cringe. It was very cringe. Huh. Honestly, it's a classic case of uh, people running with a narrative that uh, doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Honestly. You're just coming up with bullshit out of thin air. Just to make someone look bad for no reason. Like, what? <laughs> Not my problem, honestly. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. All I said was Fiorina was annoying, which is literally the most obvious character trait of her of all time. Like, you could literally show that. You could literally show Fiorina and her lines to a child, and they would probably consider her annoying too. I don't understand the problem in stating that. I, I, I really don't. I, I don't see the problem or where I went wrong there. And I don't, and I do not see where in that tweet did I say that I hate women. And I don't, and I don't see how I'm a misogynist for saying that. Like what? Hello? Annoyance does not equal bad character. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I should have stated that before everything got out of control. Maybe I should have. I mean, I was got, I would literally went to bed as soon as I posted that tweet. So there was no way I could have responded to it before things got out of control. But maybe I should have stated that before. I wish I could have stated that before everything got out of hand. But alas. Alas, sleep is my number one enemy when it comes to responding to discourse and controversy. I'm just walking around. You know what I should do? Let's go on the boat. Not defending these folks but at all, but annoying inherently carries a negative connotation. Of course it carries a negative connotation, but at the same time, you could also see it as good writing. Because she's a well-written character, at least from what I've seen so far. She's well-written. I like, I like how she's written. Like, they did really, they did really good with making her an annoying brat. At the start. So 
So... I think she's still a, a very good and well-written character. Wait. <laughs> Lower level? Where's the boss? Where the bus at? Oh, I can wait for that for bus. Ha! Ah. Maybe she could change that to the Archon Quest. I'll be your toy guide for this trip. Yeah. Though I'm not as reliable as Elfram from the Navia line, I'll still do my very best. And if you're dissatisfied with anything, feel free to let me know right away. Oh, why is she so cute? Oh, wait a sec. It's, uh, please contact a staff member with your feedback after reaching the station, and we will address your concerns as soon as possible. Aw. <laughs> developments in Fontaine, the hottest new trends in cuisine, or upcoming sensational trials, please subscribe to the Steam Bird. <laughs> I think that... I think Fiorina still has a lot of room to grow. Like, obviously, after after what happened during... Okay, this is sort of spoilers. Sort of spoilers for the Archon Quest, so if you don't want to hear semi-spoilers, you can mute. But... Um, she did show some sort of change during the Archon Quest, so there's obviously room for growth. Wonder which detective this is based off of. Hmm. Can't put my thumb on it. I can't put my finger on it. Now that I think about it, very few people tend to take this line. Hmm. Maybe it's because humans don't really like deserts. After uh. all, the most popular route in and out of Fontaine is through Liyue's Chinyu Vale. I've heard that in places with lots of sand. Even Clockwork Mecca will start to malfunction. I mean, no rational person would try to cross a vast, hot, and dry desert to get to Fontaine, right? <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to imply that you were irrational. She's so goofy. Could also be a character that she plays because people expect it from her. Yeah. I mean, she obviously does what she does to save face and to maintain her status. Like, it's pretty obvious that everything, all, her entire personality is just basically also an act. Whether or not it's, it, it's, it's her real personality or not, it's still, she still does it, a lot of it just to maintain her status. And her character that people know her for. Ahem. Uh, looking ahead on your right hand side, you'll see Aranias, where the Opera Epiclesis is located. Do you see that really tall structure? I once asked Elfin, what's that big old thing? <laughs> she said, no clue. What's the use of learning the meaning of things? But anyway, Elfin is a super amazing and super friendly melody. If you have a chance, you really should 
take the Navia line and listen to her tour. Behind me is the destination of our tour, the magnificent Corda Fontaine. Please take all of your personal belongings with you when you disembark. She's very official like. She is very official like. You know, it's one thing I really find irritating. Some people say, some people were trying to point out that, um, that I enjoyed Ito as a character and, and said that he carried the quests that he's in and the events that he's in, which I still stand by today. Like, despite him also being an annoying character on purpose. He's still a very fun character to have around. Hands and other body parts, as well as your canes, swords, cameras, and other personal items inside the boat at all times. The Aquabus operator bears no responsibility whatsoever for any injury or loss incurred as a result of disobeying the rules. Um, maybe it's a bit late for the disclaimer. Anyway, I'm happy you've had an incident-free journey today, and it was my pleasure to serve as your tour guide for this trip. Thank you! <laughs> it's cute. Anyways, what I was saying was... Uh... Was, they were trying to point out that I enjoyed Ito as a character, despite him being just as, just as, Welcome if not more annoying than Fiorina. And saying that he carried the event quest. Meanwhile, I dog on, like I I I dog on, Purina more than him. Meanwhile, I literally said yesterday, right after the Archon quest, Act One, that Purina carried. Purina fucking carried Act One. I said that she carried Act One, so I have no idea what people are trying to say when they're when they were all like, "Oh, but you said this thing about this character, but you didn't say that thing about another character." No, shut the fuck up. Each character has his own uniqueness, so there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I mean... If Fiorina was humorous, you'd adore her, but she's just not funny. She can be funny. I'm sure... I mean... Her, she has her moments where, like, her embarrassment is, is funny to laugh at, you know? She's comedic relief. She's literally... She's practically the comedic relief character right now. At least. She doesn't provide that much yet in terms of, like, lore and character development. But she's just kind of there for comedic relief and to keep the audience's attention. She is an entertainer. That is her character. They're making it very obvious that her entire character right now is to be comedic relief and to be an entertainer. Whether, being, whether it either being funny or being a brat, it's to keep the audience engaged. And that's what it did. That it, 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 that's exactly what it did. It, she made me pissed whenever she was on screen, and that kept me engaged. She's what they call a mascot? Yeah, exactly, and they literally called her a mascot. They literally called her a mascot in game two. So, it's like... Y'all really getting mad at me for stating the obvious? <laughs> Come on, now. Anyways, I shouldn't drag it too much. I shouldn't drag it too much. It's just, it's just Genshin Twitter being dumb. Again. You know. It is what it is. I already know I didn't do anything wrong. I, I didn't do anything wrong, like, at all. I didn't say anything that, that insinuated or implied that I hate women as a whole. Or think that, that, that I dislike woman characters. If they don't bow down to the traveler, which is also a ridiculous fucking claim. Because I hate, 
I hate the the dumb trope of characters of female characters in video games needing to always be nice to the protagonist. I hate that trope. So I that that claim is just completely dumb. I don't I don't hate women. I don't hate I don't hate the female characters if they if they're not simping for the traveler. And I don't completely hate Farina. Like despite what I say when she's on screen, I don't completely hate her. I understand that it's just a character. It's just an act, you know? It's not that fucking serious. It's not really that serious. She has room to grow. And she's a well-written annoying character, a well-written brat. That's it. That's about it. That's all you need to that's all you need to know. Their harem sucks and is ridiculous. That's what I've that's what I've thought for the longest time. I mean, I've never said it outright. I've never said that explicitly. Because there was no reason for me to, to get involved in that kind of discourse. But I think the Ether Harem is dumb as shit. I hate those memes, personally. They kinda they kinda water down they kinda water down characters like uh Ayaka, Nilu, Kaching. And dozens more of characters that they try to, you know, pair with the Traveler for absolutely no reason at all. I mean, maybe Aika has some, has some credibility. If you, you know, try to read, read uh, more into the lines that she says to the Traveler. But still, like she's, she's more than just the tra She's more than just a love interest for the Traveler, you know. So, and other characters... I have no idea where they come. I have no idea where they come with like, come up with these things for you know, wanting to ship, wanting to pair them with with the traveler. What part of the story am I at? Uh, I just finished the uh, the Archon quest for Fontaine. So, I just finished the Archon quest. Actually, in fact, I should probably um, yeah, it's like eleven right now. Shouldn't stream too much longer. Thoughts on the Archon Quest? I think the, this Archon Quest was really good. It has a very strong start so far. I'm not sure if it's better than Sumeru's, um, but I think it's very good, very refreshing, and I enjoyed playing it like almost every second of it. There was a lot of good twists. A lot of good twists and turns. A lot of... Uh, a lot of unique gameplay aspects being added. And I think it was very new. I, was, I think it was very cool. Yandere Ayaka? Yeah, that shit is, that shit is disgusting. Like, what? Where did the, the Yandere Ayaka even come from? And that one female character in a video game is annoying equals sex of Twitter Twitter users. I mean no, I can I, I can kinda understand. I can kinda understand like from their point of view, like I can understand where like Obviously, a lot of a lot of female characters get treated like shit and also get mischaracterized a lot when it comes, like especially when it comes to a female character that doesn't particularly like the main character immediately off the bat. They usually get hated a lot. I can understand, like if I were saying if I were saying something like that, you know, I can understand that, but I wasn't saying that at all. I wasn't saying that, like, she needs to bow down to the Traveler or anything like that, you know? I just think she has, a, she, she just has an ego. And she's annoying and brat about it. Thoughts about- thoughts on Alekino so far? I, I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her in-game yet, so I don't know. But she has a cool design. She has a cool design. I like her design. 
No hair of Rosaria and she's no simp? Yeah, true. There are more updates to the Archon Quest. We might have more acts than Sumeru. More acts than Sumeru? That's a lot. <laughs> but I'm actually excited for that. Um, if they keep going, I think if the... Uh, if the Fontaine Archon Quest keeps up the quality and the pacing that was with that, that that's like on par with Act One and Act Two, I think this would be end up being a very good Archon Quest. I think it'll be a very very good quest if they keep this up. That could just be the the honeymoon phase speaking though. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a slacker. <clears throat> kind of wish she she would have went all the way with the traveler hate. We want a proper personal villain. She does have kind of a vengeance for us though. She she does have a, some sort of a personal hatred towards us. Maybe not hatred, but like. I don't know what word to use, but she does have like something personal towards us because I feel like, I feel like she, hmm. I feel like Fiorina does dislike us because she doesn't, or she dislikes us because we kind of threaten her ego and her status. Like a world famous traveler coming to her nation and threatening her popularity as like, you know, the top dog that everyone likes. And especially with uh, with us embarrassing her, you know, challenging her glory. Yeah, basically, she she feels like her status is threatened. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know. Scaramouche is the one that made you mad. Now he's the lab dog for Nahida. I think Scaramouche is an annoying character too. I think Scaramouche is an annoying as is an annoying ass character too. Yet he's still one of my personal favorites. I think he's annoying as fuck. So what status? The court jester? Yeah, basically. She's trying to she's trying to keep that influencer celebrity status. He's annoying, but you still like him. Yeah. Is that and that's the thing. I, I mean, they can be annoying, still likable though. Ito Ito is annoying, still likable. Scaramouche is annoying, still likable. Fischl is annoying, still likable. Mona? I don't think it, I don't think Mona is annoying personally. I I don't I don't think Mona is that annoying. Paimon is annoying, still likable. There's an example. Paimon is very fucking annoying, still a likable character, somewhat. Loki Yao is kind of annoying. I don't think so. I'm on the Sarkon Quest. Was so goofy with that mustache. Yeah, she was. She she had her moments in this uh, in the Sarkon Quest. She had her she had her moments. I think Dory is probably the, one of the most annoying characters of the game. And the sad fact is, is that right now, at least, I mean, I haven't, I haven't played like any of her story quests. I don't even know if she has like story quests or anything. Like she doesn't even have a hangout, I don't think. Yeah. She doesn't even have a hangout. So I don't know anything about her, but for now, she doesn't really have any redeeming qualities. <laughs> Which kind of puts her like at the at the top of the list for for most disliked characters for me.
She has a bean bag as a pet. A pet? Wait, isn't that just I don't think I don't think that's a pet. I'm pretty sure that's I don't think I don't think that's a pet. Where, where is she at? That's not a pet, is it? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be... Oh, fine. Like a representation of a genie or something? Isn't it? I don't know. A jinn? Genie? Sad version of a genie? Yeah. Genies or demons, she signed a contract with in exchange for her soul. For, for her soul to give her Mora. Joking, by the way. Okay. That was a slime at first. I think it's supposed to be like a, like a Genshin representation, I guess. Or a Genshin version of a genie or a genie. What's a Nouvellet? I think Nouvellet is very interesting. Uh, I'm kind of wondering because, uh, well, this is more spoilers, I'm not even going to say it yet. But I think there's more to learn about him. I think he's going to be a very interesting character to learn about. Especially uh, after Act 2. Once you finish Act 2, you kind of get interested into, in him. Because it, it shows that there's a lot more to learn about him. I think he'll be a very cool, a very cool character in Fontaine. Dory's just a bad stereotype wrapped in one character. Yeah, she... I do remember uh, a lot of people calling out her design as well. For being very, very stereotypical as well. Like, this outfit alone is just not good. So... Did I connect, did I connect Nuvalet to Lorraine? Yeah. You're at the part with child. Enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of the Archon Quest. I think it's really good. If you want, if you want my definite opinion on this Archon Quest so far, it's good. It's good. I think it's refreshing and I think it's very fun to play. It's a very, very strong start. Don't know better if, if it's better than Sumeru, but it could be a strong contender. What's They're the both very good in their own right. So. Huh. No, it is you were, you were exploring before a playing Archon Quest? Nice. You already f you feel like you already finished the entirety of Fall Tender Fishy Act of one and Act Two. Yeah, I think they do that a lot with the uh with the first two acts. They make you feel like you finished it until you get to the rest of the, the arcs. Hopefully it doesn't end up like Inazuma. No, I really I really I don't think so. I think Inazuma was a special case because they were changing the writing team. Allegedly. They changed the writing team in the middle of the production of Inazuma, so that's how it kind of got fucked up. The murder mystery Ace Attorney elements, yeah, it was really good. I love the uh, the murder mystery part of it. It's cliche for sure. It's an overdone, overdone ass story element, but it's it's cool. It was cool to see it in Genshin. All right, but, um, actually, anyways. I should actually log off, because it's been a while. It's been six on, hours. let's get moving. We're not frozen in place, after all.
Um, it's been six hours, so uh, I think for now I'm gonna log off. Um, maybe tomorrow. Eh, what I do with tomorrow? I kind of want to spend tomorrow editing the uh, the first uh, Archon Quest or first video of the Archon Quest because I want to get it out while the hype is still here. Um, tomorrow I think I could try to stream. It might be short though, but I'll have to see. If I can stream, or I'll see when I can next stream, but <laughs> Seems all the other I'm going to try to get uh, the first Archon Quest video out as soon as I can, while the hype is still here. You just got here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was so weird that the spoiler after Lady's assistant uh, died, nobody was talking about, but it, and uh, it just glossed over. I do feel like Lenny was Lenny and Lynette were done so dirty by the traveler. I feel like we just glossed over them so hard. I was gonna make a tweet about that actually yesterday. I wanted to post a tweet about that, but I went to sleep and I'm just like kind of waiting to see if I should tweet about it. Because, you know, the story is still fresh. I mean, maybe I could tag spoilers on it. And it would be fine. But there was a tweet I wanted to make about uh, the Traveler. The Traveler's uh, relationship with Linny and Lynette. Because the way they did Linny and Lynette at the end was fucked up to me, personally. <laughs> so, I kind of wanted to make a tweet about it. I'll see, though. I don't know. You're the only one who got fooled by the trailer and then had a realization moment during the Archon Quest. I don't know. No something compensation for the new ploy from Lenny. Damn. Did not betray him at first? Uh, they did. Yeah, the trust part is gone, which I understand. There is no trust in that anymore. I understand that. <laughs> But honestly, it, the other have it still spread. feels very, very dirty for the Traveler to just walk away like that. Even after they both poured their hearts out. They both like poured their hearts out to him and told him their life story. And what they went through. Like, dude, listen to all of that and he just walked away. Like, that was just kind of, kind of messed up. It was like really, really messed up. And we don't we don't even talk to them like ever in Act 2. So I don't know. I do have some reservations about the traveler with that. I'll probably post a tweet about it for like discussion and shit. But yeah. My talk in Act 3? I hope so. I hope we can at least, you know, make some reparations with them. Because that was... I left, a, I left a very bitter taste in my mouth seeing that. You know, talking, you do they talk in his, in his story quest? I don't know. I think they might. I think they, they might talk in his story quest. But I don't know when it takes place. I don't know if it takes place before or after the, um... I don't know if it takes place before or after the the whole court session. Travel's reaction to the video amplified a lot after Sumeru, even though they, we know they are all in bed. Yeah. Something's changing about the Traveler, and it's, um, it's looking very... Very, very interesting change. Alright, but anyways, I'm going to log off because I've been here for a while and I need to... It's it's pretty late for me to work out, but I should at least try to do something. But I'm going to go and do my stuff. I'm going to try and get the, the first Fontaine video out soon. And I will try to return to, you know, explore Fontaine and some other stuff, you know. But we'll have to see when, you know. 
very spontaneous with all this stuff. But anyways. Anyways. Thank you all for watching. 